Hello, everyone, and welcome to the United Adventure Company presents Tales from the Loop. That's right. It's a new game, I guess, to us at least. It's been out for a little while, but we ran across it. It looks like so much fun where we get to play a bunch of kids uh, just living our lives on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, joining with us tonight in the United Adventure Company, you'll see there are a couple of new faces here. Thanks so much for joining us. As always, I'm Billy. I'm your Dungeon Master. I use he or they pronouns. Um, we'll jump to my uh, left, to the other familiar face, which would be uh, Lindsay. Hi, I'm going to be playing Isabella tonight. All right. Lindsay is playing Isabella. Do you want to tell us a little bit about Isabella? Uh, Isabella's 10. She likes to solve mysteries, and she thinks she's smarter than everybody else. <laughs> As most 10-year-olds do, right? <laughs> uh, how about you hand it off, Lindsay? All right. Uh, well, I'll just go down to Nicola then. Hey. Um, so I'm Nicola, or Asimov on Twitch. Uh, I'm going to play my dear, dear lady, Linda, today. She's 13 years old. And the best thing about uh, Linda that I know of is that she has a beautiful dog called Max. And I hope I can bring my dog with me. I don't know, that's something for um, that's for, something for the GM to figure out on my behalf. But I'm thinking yes. All right. Yeah, definitely. Uh, that's one of the great things about Tales from the Loop is you all get to tell me what you're doing. I'm just here to kind of help guide around. So whether you want to ride Love your it. bikes, your skateboards, roller skates, or take your dog with you, that's it's I'm the dog. all up to you. <laughs> all right. And then next. So what you're saying is I'm going to basically be Casey Jones, just rolling around with my <laughs> hockey stick, just ready to cave some skulls. There you go. And, and you are. Like, I, I, okay. Yeah, no, this is not, not picking the love interest, for, not getting the character this guy has a crush on is a smart idea considering I may play him as a sociopath. <laughs> Oh, and that would be Ben, who is playing Frederick tonight. Frederick. Fred. Fred. Or, or Chad, depending on which version you use. <laughs> I mean, he is a total Chad. Yep. Uh, so tonight we're playing uh, the starter scenario that comes with the starter rule set. You can get the starter rule set over at Drive-Thru RPG or several other uh, whatever online gaming uh, store you like to play or get your games at. So we're playing The Recycled Boy is the name of the uh, game that we're playing tonight. Um, the short premise is, what if your friend suddenly isn't his self anymore? What if he accusing oh. is you of wanting to hurt him? And what if he disappears and strange things start to happen all around you? So... That, that's kind of the short premise. Now, uh, if you're not familiar with Tales from the Loop, neither are we, so we're all going to learn <laughs> this together. <laughs> Just straight uh, disclosure. Absolutely. We've, we've read the rules. Uh, I have read the scenario this week completely twice, unlike last week's um, Call of Cthulhu scenario, which I was reading it as we were running it. <laughs> I think that was everybody in that story. Yeah. But we still had fun. But we had a great time, and that's what it's all about here is we're going to have a great time. Um, Tales from the Loop is powered by the Year Zero game engine. It's a D6 based game where uh, it's very, very rules light. So uh, some people have compared it to Vassian. If anyone's ever played Vassian, uh, the character sheets are very similar. We are Perfect. going to play in the United States. You can either play in Sweden or the United States where there are twin loops. Both uh, countries built one back way back when. Um, as far as the history of the loop itself, have you all watched the show um, Tales from the Loop by chance? I don't want to say that I have, but I I have seen one episode and I think I fell asleep. That's not saying anything. That's more my energy level on that day. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it was something to do with kids on bikes. And there was spooky things happening in the town. So when I when I was reading the uh, uh, the rule the rule set, it was uh, it was pinging my memory uh, of of those. Awesome. I hope that's that's good enough. <laughs> <laughs> so my my prep has been about 30, 30 minutes of that, and um, I was listening to Eddie's tunes uh, about thirty minutes ago. So fantastic, that's fantastic. Yeah. 
Yeah. Um, so some of the principles of the loop. Uh, your home is, your hometown is full of fantastic things, right? Uh, your everyday life is dull and unforgiving. Your adults are pretty much out of reach and out of touch. Uh, mysteries are dangerous. And uh, we are going to play this game scene by scene. So we may jump time. We may go to the get milkshakes and then it's the next day because nothing extraordinary happened that afternoon or something like that, right? So, yeah. um, and the world is described completely collaboratively. So you're going to tell me what you see when you get to places for the most part. There are some story specific things that I'll narrate to you, but for the most part, you'll tell me what's going on. And then I adjust the game based on what you tell me is happening. Uh, questions about that? No? All right. Um, if anything comes up uh, and we need any history or anything like that about the loops, about the area, feel free to ask. There's a lot of lore yep. that is given with this. Um, so unless there's anything else, uh, and all of the thousands of people that are watching us out there, thanks so much for tuning in. There's four of us. Thanks, all guys. Four people. I think one of you is not watching. Where is <laughs> I, 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 I am watching. Yeah, you are. I I'm just I'm like, there. I looked at the delay, and it was just too uncanny, and I couldn't do it. No, it's fine. I'm just messing with you. I'm just messing oh. with you. Um, That's fine. I exist to be messed with. Don't we all? All right. So we'll start <laughs> with um, with just some some everyday stuff that's happening in your lives. Um, and we'll start with, uh, with Fred, Frederick. How do you want me to refer to him? I don't care. Just keep it consistent. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> I, I'm sure it will change depending on the adult in the room. All right. Um, so you're sitting in your room, just doing whatever it is that you do in your downtime, not your homework, but whatever it is you do, maybe you're watching, uh, or no, you would. This is the '80s, so you're not going to be watching yeah, anything on your 80s, phone. So uh, there's oh, probably God. one computer in the house. Maybe. There. Well, uh... Dude, you don't get computers in your house in the '80s. Yeah, well, we, we had know. a trash yeah, '80. We didn't have one until what? Yeah, I had a trash '80. But that was more like a glorified game console. <laughs> yeah. That's just I mean, yeah, the... there's things like the Commodore 64 and everything, which is for you're nerds. playing. Yeah, you you could have been. Uh, you're probably just sitting there uh, tossing your your foam basketball or, or <laughs> into the, the suction cup hoop that's stuck on your wall, right? Uh, I, I got I got my Sony Walkman jamming to Sweet Child. Nice. There you go. Yeah. And uh, we, we cut to a montage scene of just <laughs> Fred coming home from school, and then we just get a quick, brief like snapshot of his life through a number of just quick shots it's like we, we got the one bit where he's coming home from school and it's like all his butt and he's got all the buddies and then and maybe there's like the girl on his arm or something and then you cut to one he's going home and then you cut to he comes in home and maybe he's i don't know maybe he's dad's there maybe he isn't and then you just kind of cut to him in his room like by himself with all the sweet child of mine playing over town yeah and and while you <laughs> you go into your room right and you shut your door and just as you're just as you're putting your Walkman on and, and you're about to hit your favorite mixtape, um, you hear what sounds like someone crying and you stop for a minute and you're like, that's your dad. And and you, you take your headphones off because you've never heard your dad cry before. Like this is like your dad is Mr. Man, you know, and oh, yeah. you hear him talking to your mom. And they they obviously think that you have your headphones on. You've gone upstairs, but but you hear them talking, and it sounds like your dad said that something about he he hit a kid with his car the other day, and he's very distraught by this. Just he is. You could tell he's really upset by it. Can I? This is how my brain works. I immediately go to start doing things. Um, <laughs> can I just, like, crack the door open and try to... Like, I don't want to leave the room, but I do kind of want to, like, 
try to clear things up a little bit and get a clearer idea of the conversation or anything, maybe sneaking. I don't know, can I roll sneak to like try and get better, get get closer or uh, more info on the situation? Yeah, absolutely. Right. Absolutely. Let's Hold use those dice. Step. Let's use those dice. No, we use the D6s, my, so... My, my body is five, because I am all of the body of this team. So your sneak skill is, uh... My sneak skill doesn't exist. Yeah, so sn- oh. it's uh, skill plus stat is how you roll, so... Uh, yeah, I'm, you're just I'm really good at five. the other two, just not this one. <laughs> so roll your five, and uh, let me know how many successes you get. Uh Oh, I got three. Okay. Wow, nice. you are, like... Ninja. ninja. You are a little ninja dude, right? So, uh, No, what he's doing is he's got socks on, so he's kind of like gliding across the hardwood floor. Or like the... <laughs> yes, the lamps. Like it. doing this. It's just he been is a wax. hockey player after all. Yeah, right, right. So you're you're using your, your hockey stride to, to slide across the linoleum hardwood floor uh, to get your mother and father are, are in the kitchen. Um, where most parents hang out in the 80s. And, and your dad is sitting kind of at this, this island bar that you have. And he's got his nice drink with him. And he, his head's in his hands. And you can tell he's really upset. And he says, yeah, I think it was that, I think it was that kid Tim from down the street. He's, he, was, he just ran out in the street after a ball. And I tried to stop, but, but I hit him. And poor kid, he went flying and... I just drove off. I didn't know what else to do. So. So. The question is, how sneaky am I going to be about this? Or do I just go in and start yelling? This is the question. What would Fred do? What would, what Fred, would Fred do? That's the question. <laughs> well, okay. I mean, so, so look at look at. Uh, your relationships on your no, character that, sheet? No, that's exactly where I am, and that is exactly the problem. Um, yeah. So. Well, I'll tell you what. Why don't we come back to you, think about what you're going to do. That's fair. And then we'll move on to someone else's starting scene. How about that? That gives you a chance to think. That puts the puts the thing in your mind there. Um, we will go to uh, Isabella. Um you're sitting in your room doodling or whatever you do that 10 year olds do in the 80s um maybe you're maybe you're drawing and playing with your my little ponies or something does that sound like something that isabella would do uh, no i think isabella is doing her math homework and she's playing with her favorite <laughs> pocket pocket calculator <laughs> oh okay so she likes math isabella's doing someone else's math homework yeah okay Isabel's doing her math homework and uh you hear a a knock on your bedroom door uh yeah what is it and your mom opens the door and she leans in a little bit and says um can we talk for a minute sure yeah so uh your mom comes in and sits down on the bed and she says you know I was talking to one of your friend's parents the other day, Susie's parents, and you know, you were over there visiting, right? Weren't you there a couple days ago? Yeah. Well, she said that after you left, they were looking for a, a, a brooch that Susie's grandmother had given her as a gift, and they can't find it anymore. I was just wondering, you didn't happen to see it, did you? No, I didn't see anything like that. I mean, it was a gift, so can you use your charm? Roll your charm for me. All right, that's not going to go real well. (laughs) Ooh, I actually have a success. I only rolled two dice. Nice. (laughs) (laughs) And you got one success? One success, yeah. Okay. She says, uh, was was there anybody else there that was playing with you all? I don't remember. Okay. Well, if you hear anyone talking about it at school, will you be sure to uh, to tell Susie who has her brooch, please? Um, yeah. Yeah, I can do that. Okay. 
will you? I'll let you get back to your homework, and, and you have a good evening. I'll see you for dinner. And okay. She gets up and walks out of the room and closes the door. All right. So then I will uh, open up the drawer to my little desk, and I will look at the little brooch that I stole <laughs> that is in my desk, and. Uh, I'm going to put it in my pocket because clearly I need to get rid of the evidence. <laughs> okay. All right. Or at least hide it so when your mom does your laundry, she doesn't find it in your sock drawer. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that would be bad. So for now, I have stuck it in my pocket. Okay. In your pocket. Right on. So that leaves us to Linda. And Linda, what are you doing? It's after school. Um... Okay, so how I'm envisioning Linda, she's lying on her bed, you know, sort of front forward. She's writing in her wee diary, um, just sort of uh, all about this boy that she likes to look off. Um, he's not really looking at her, but that's okay. He'll get there. Um, Max is at her feet um, at the bottom of the bed. He's not meant to be on the bed, but it's fine. Nobody can see. And she's just enjoying her, her evening before homework. Okay. Um, you, uh, you are sitting there petting the dog. And Max, you said, is your dog's name? Yeah, Max. Right. And you hear uh, your dad talking to someone in the other room but you know your mom's not home she's at work and you, you when you came in there was nobody else there and you haven't heard the door open um, okay so first things first I need to write in my diary someone is here I need to investigate um, I guess I can't there's no listen oh there's an investigate there I is an investigate I, I, can I can I use an investigate and just sure, try and put my sure. ear to the to the wall? Um, so I've got plus two on mind. Sorry, so my mind is five, and then investigate is two. So does that mean I get seven? Yes, you would roll seven yes. dice. Oh, let's go! <laughs> I chose the right one. I got just the one success, but a success nonetheless. A success nonetheless. So yep, you do. You you actually have a, a glass in your room. And uh, that's left over, and you put it against the wall, and you can hear your dad. It sounds like he said, Tim. Like, it, it, and as you listen, it sounds like he's talking to your your brother, but your brother's dead and has been. He said the word Tim. And it's Tim, my brother's name, though. Uh, let's see, I believe it is. That's up oh, wrong. The only Tim I'm aware of is one of the... Oh, wait, maybe that's the wrong names. Yeah, what, one of that's the, the wrong PCs. Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah, yeah. Tim Was Tim the wrong one for me, too? Because that does matter. No, that matters for you. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Is t Tim was the right one for me, though. Yes. Yeah, right for okay. you, but maybe wrong for me. And I might have Linda and Merck. No? Where's Linda? There's Linda. Thought. I might have the the. I'm, I think I have the the PCs uh, backstories mixed up. I'm sorry. It's that moment when I realized that "Sweet Child of Mine" and "Sweet Caroline" are two different songs because I got the mix. Uh, <laughs> oh well. They are quite the yeah. They, they, I mean, the titles are quite similar, but then I was well, like, yeah. oh wait, no, "Sweet Child of Mine" is a way different riff. Oh that's yeah, that, that's Guns and Roses. Man. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yep, let sorry, me uh, I'm not the target demographic mm -hmm. for this 80s nostalgia game. Okay, we're going to go back. We're going to yep, go back. We're going to retcon that because I was I was going the right way, but uh I I I said the wrong thing. So he, okay. you do hear him say Tim, uh and then as you listen a little more, you find out that he's actually it it sounds like he's talking on the phone. Uh cuz he'll say something and then pause. And then he'll and he says, and he says "Yeah, Tim." He was supposed to come cut our grass yesterday, and he never showed up. Why, oh, Tim's such a creep. Well, all right, I understand. 
have a good night. And he, he kind of hangs up the phone, a little aggravated, you can tell. But um, Tim's never cut your grass before. And he's, uh, he's not starting now if I've got anything to do with it. <laughs> I don't like that boy. I'm going to go back to my bed. I'm just going to write... Tim thinks he can weasel his way into my family by cutting the grass while well, he's got another thing coming. Um, and enjoy the rest of my evening, I guess. Uh, yeah. All right. All right. Um, so let's jump back to Fred and see what is made what is my Fred decision. Do? All right, what does Fred do? I'm going to run in the room immediately and start yelling at Dad. All Just, right. I, I wasn't quite sure, and then I consulted the math rocks, and they told me to do it. So. All right. No, he's just giving me like, what the fuck? Did you, I, I don't know if "fuck" is the word to write. You. What the hell did you do to Tim? So what are what um, what condition would you say you are right now? Uh, I think upset is the correct one. Okay. That makes sense to me. Uh, that that is, it's definitely <laughs> fear and or extreme rage. So. Yeah. Upset sounds. Sounds good. Um, we'll go with that. So go ahead and check your upset condition. Should be checkable. Okay. I don't know if it's clickable or not. If not, it's just... Not, but I'm, I'll make a note of it. We'll just take a Sharpie and draw on your monitor. No. Nice. <laughs> Dry erase. That works, right? No. <laughs> um, I love that idea. All right. So I have minus one to everything now. Yippee. Because I'm very angry. Yes. Um, um, and your dad turns around and, and you can see he's he's wiping his face trying to not look like he's crying. I mean, I'm he still going to... Well, Fred, Fred? Um, Fred is still probably going to... Is there... Not, there's force? That's intimidate. Um, <laughs> but I think... Honestly, yeah, I, I don't think Fred is going to be in much of a mood to do anything like helpful given he is more about like he's 13 for god's sake yeah so he's you, not a beacon of emotional maturity so i think he's just gonna <laughs> go in and just start yelling at his dad just okay. throwing a big fit and just getting real <laughs> getting real mad so you run in and you're like what the hell did you do to tim right yeah what the hell did you do to tim man like, and your dad turns around and he wipes the last tear from his eyes and he says excuse me young man what did you just say to me you heard me Yes, but... What'd you do to Tim? You that, couldn't even get that right? That's better. It's not my fault. I know he's your friend, and that's... I didn't want to, I didn't want you to find out this way. <sighs> he ran out in front of my car. Was he okay? I... I don't know. I... I left. I'd, I'd been drinking, and I didn't want to... You know. Okay, you know what? I'm just going to leave immediately and just... I'm going to the damn hospital. Screw this guy. You just storm out, like, like go get on your bike or, or yep. roller skates, rollerblades. <laughs> okay. uh, are rollerblades around yet? I don't think blades I are. I don't know. I'm just going to... We'll say bicycle. Okay, bicycle. I'm just going to hop right. my bicycle and just zoom off to the hospital. Or, or probably Tim's house. Or, Tim's house? Tim's house. That, I don't know. Okay, you are gonna you go to Tim's house. All right. I'm zooming. Just All right. This. All right, you head on all, to all Tim's this, house. All this great, and I have in me, <laughs> We've been playing for ten minutes. And I've already hurt myself. Great. <laughs> um. Um. But yeah, I'm just gonna go up to his house, and uh, I guess go bang on the door. Unless the door is unlocked, in which case I'll just let myself in. As as you do normally, because you're best friends, and sometimes you know you just and who locked their doors in the '80s? Let's be real here. I was a latchkey kid, okay? I nobody I locked. I wasn't alive in the '80s. I would almost say congratulations. <laughs> but um, yeah, you walk in and the door's unlocked, and you walk in. How would you normally enter Tim's house? Would you just say, "Hey, it's me," or how would you do that? Well, I, I think normally I would, yeah, I think it probably we would just open the door normally to be like, yeah, hey, yep, no, it's me, it's Fred, and that'd be the normal case. Now, of course, I'm like, hey, is anybody here? 
and you hear there'd be a bit of urgency involved given yeah. the, the circumstances. I'm trying to get a hold of, I don't know, his mom or his dad or something, or whoever's here. Yeah, you definitely. Um, you hear from the kitchen. We're in here, Fred, and it's it's his mom, Tim's mom. All right, I've run into the kitchen. And uh, you see Tim sitting at the table. He's got a peanut butter and jelly sandwich in one hand, and his arm is in a cast um, in a sling. And uh, he's, he's like, chilling with a peanut butter and jelly sandwich and a broken arm. Tim, are you okay? Of course, I'm just running in, with, in like, panic mode. Yeah. Dude, what's up, man? Yeah. Yeah, I'm cool, dude. It's just... Check this out. Look, you want to be the first person to sign my cast? I just got home. I think it takes Fred a moment to process this, but he does. All right. Of course he saved you the the, the best friend line, you know? Cause... Of course. But also, like, I don't know. I was hoping he wasn't dead. <laughs> <laughs> I think that was the first thing in mind, because it's... Well, I don't know. Fred's probably seen some movie or something where somebody just gets nailed by a car and dies instantly, so... Yeah, everybody's seen that movie. So so Tim's like, yeah, man, um, it was weird. I was riding my bike in and pulling in the driveway, and this car just was backing out of the driveway and hit me and then just took off. Okay. Um, it was really strange. Uh, I, don't, I don't even know who it was. It was the same kind of car that, that your dad has, though, but... The person driving didn't look like your dad. You want to go for a ride, man? You can. I can. I can ride on your pegs, and you can. Let's. Why don't we go see what um, Maria's up to? We can go over to the clubhouse. Yeah, yeah. yeah let's do. Let, let's do that. Let's get to the clubhouse. Let's get out of here. Cool, man. So uh, he hops on your rear pegs and puts his arm, his one good arm around your shoulders, and y'all start riding. All right, let's go, dude. Um, yeah, I, I started going through that. And now Ben, the player, is like, when can I get roll to get this condition away? <laughs> um, it, I, it's time-based. Okay. It, yeah. okay I, was ro- I was reading something you could roll a leadership to do that, but I guess you can't leadership yourself. No, but you have Tim with you now, so you can leadership Tim. Okay. Um, so when you get to the clubhouse. Um, I, I'm guess, I, I don't think I can leadership him out of having a broken arm, but other than that. No. Um, Linda, you hear from the other room. Linda, telephone. Coming. Uh, close my diary. I write a lot. Um, and I'll sort of make my way to the land and down the stairs. Hello. Hey, it's Maria. Hey, Maria, please. Please say there's something on. Dad, you want to get together? Absolutely. Um, say when. Now. How about now? Are you good now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Treehouse? Let's do it. Let's go. I'm on my way. All right. I'm just going to put the phone down. Say, Mom, I don't need dinner. See you later. What? Where, where are you going? Bye. Be back before the street lights Bye. come on. <laughs> <laughs> the and, good old days. Yep. Um, yeah, I'm gonna get on my bike and head over. All right. With Max, Max in tow, please. Yep. You get on your bike, and about the time you get on the street, you see Fred and Tim go flying down the street. Tim's got a broken arm and holding on to the back of, of uh, Fred on the back of his Fred is, bike. Fred is powered by adrenaline and rage. So yes. So we he are going like, at extreme speeds. Yep. I'm gonna, I'm gonna shout after. I'm gonna All say right. Tim. Tim! Is it, is, and is and it he looks back and goes, Oh, yeah, yeah, hey! I can't wave! Hey! But... <laughs> you were meant to be cutting the grass! The grass! My grass? And he's like, Fred, slow down, slow down. What, what is, okay, I, 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 I probably turn around and go back to where Yeah, he flip is. around and go back, okay. He's My like, what? parents are really mad at you. They said that you were meant to come and cut the grass, and you haven't come and cut the grass. I think it's rude. He hops down off the bike, and he just points at the cast on his arm. He goes, I kind of have a broken arm. Yeah, he just, got nailed by a car. I just got out of the hospital, so 
Um, I don't know. You could have called. Let's got some slack. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, I'm just saying. I'm just. I didn't I know. It. Do I? I love it. I didn't know. I didn't know. Where are you guys? Where are you going? I'm gonna go see Maria. Oh, where are we? Oh. Where are y'all going? Oh, we're, we're we're going to the clubhouse, treehouse. You know. Tree house. I was go. I was gonna go treehouse. We can go club. I don't know wherever she is. Yeah, over to Maria's, right? Yeah, let's go. All right. I'll race ya. I'm just gonna get on. Me and Max are gonna <laughs> just take pedal. off. All right. I will accept this challenge. Yes. One, two, three, go. <laughs> Uh, that's awesome. Let's uh, let's actually do a uh, a move skill yes! check on that. Let's do Wait, this. Wait, that's one of my good numbers. Okay. Seven dice. It's supposed to be eight, but I hurt myself. I've got one for body, and move zero. I've got one dice. Okay. I got a four. I got a, I got one success. So uh, success. Yeah. All right, so he takes off and, and leaves you. Even with Tim on the back of his bike, um, he has a, a nicer, newer bike than you do. And also, he's a jock. And he doesn't have a dog, like trying to run around and tangle up in the in the bike. And Max, he's a Max is not very well trained, I have to say. <laughs> Isabella, what are you doing now? You've got the brooch in your pocket. What are you gonna do? You finished so, all of your homework. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and um, I'm going to make my way to the tree house. So I'm going to try to sneak out of the house without my mom hearing that I am leaving. All right. Is this something you normally do? Sneak out of the house? Uh, yeah. If it's just to the tree house in the backyard, then I will regularly sneak out to the tree house. Okay. Um, and my mom knows that if she can't find me in the house, then I'm probably in the tree house. Okay. Do you want to roll your sneak or? Um, yeah, I can roll sneak. Since it's a common thing for you to do, it's pretty easy. And I did not make it. You did not make it. All right. You hear your mom, uh, just as, uh, just as you open the back door, you know the hinges are squeaky and you do it real slow, trying not to squeak the hinge, but sure enough, it squeaks. Your mom yells from the living room, where are you going? I'm just going to the tree house. Okay, if you see your sister, tell her it's her night to do the dishes. Okay, and then I'll close the door. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And you get out there, and you've been there a few minutes. Your sister's already out there. Um, and after a couple of minutes of small talk. Maria, Mom said it's your turn to do the dishes. I know. I'll do them before bed. It's fine. It's always okay. my turn to do the dishes anyway. Well, if you don't do them, I'm not doing them for you. But it's okay. You'll do them anyway. But Tim's coming over and I don't I don't want you to be messing things up like you did last time you were here. I'm not gonna mess anything up. I just wanna be here. You know, I like being around you. Oh, you know, Frederick's coming too. Oh, that guy. Why do you hang out with him? He's so stupid. He's tall and handsome and popular, and he's my age. Popular and handsome. <laughs> okay. Well, whatever. You know, he told last time we were together, he told me he loves me. <laughs> That's so <laughs> gross. Oh, I don't get it. Sis. What? That is so weird. Is boys it though? Are, boys are kind of gross. I mean, uh, I think they're kind of gross. I don't know. One day, one day you might learn about somebody. Maybe not a boy, but maybe somebody. You never know. 
Yeah, okay. Uh, about that time, the rest of you all get there. Um, there's a ladder that goes up the treehouse. It's a pretty standard treehouse. Uh, there's a rope swing and a tire swing down at the bottom. You, you, there's probably a loud uh, proclamation <laughs> when yeah. you this conversation <laughs> of just being like, Ha! I win! <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, I will... Clearly not uh, directed at th- that okay. conversation, but... <laughs> <laughs> I announced I, myself in true jock fashion. Right on. Yeah, maybe Steve Holt style with your arms in there. Um, I'm gonna jump off the bike like, well done, Freddy. I'm gonna go and tie Max up to the CM tree that we always tie him up to. It's just close by to the um, by mm-hmm. to the tree house and say, now you bark if anyone comes. You know, you know how this goes. And I'll give a little treat. Um, <laughs> and I'll climb up behind uh, Freddy and Tim. All right. Uh, I think I might let Tim go first, just in case. Oh, we could like winch him up. <laughs> I was alarm. thinking just he goes up and then I go up behind him. So if he falls, he just falls on top of me, and then that's fine. Well, that's the. Then I catch him with my pure. Yeah, that'll keep him from falling. Yeah. My pure <laughs> immense body. <laughs> all my dice have to be. Uh, oh. He's having a hard time climbing the ladder. That's for sure. Oh, he's I, like, grab a rung and then he's got to wrap his cast around and try to climb it. It's really tough for him. He, he says, you know what, guys? I'm just going to hang out on the swing. It's okay. Okay. I'm okay. <laughs> Dang it. Well. Alright, I tried. Well, whatever suits Tim, eh? I mean, he won't cut the grass. He uh, won't come see his friend. Yeah, cool. I'm just gonna head up the treehouse. Um, I want to give Maria a big hug. Maria, thank you once again for inviting me over. Um, I will have a quick look across at Isabella and uh, clutch my earrings as I do so. Hi, <laughs> Linda. How are you? Hey. How Max? Did he come with you? Yeah, Max is. Max is down there. You good? I am. Do you need anything? Um, yeah, it's, you know, that's cool. If you've got any lemonade, I'll take it, yeah? Yeah, definitely. We'll, we'll get you some lemonade. Yeah, we'll do that. Yeah, I'm okay. Okay, you do that. Um, Maria, how are you? I'm, I'm doing great, you know, and, and she, uh, it's slides. been a good hour. <laughs> yeah, she slides right over next to Fred and like uh, puts her her arm around him and starts like laying her head. Just on him. does the does the arm around her shoulders thing. Yep, seamlessly because this is way more consensual. This this I thought this was a one sided thing and it, it's very much not. Yeah, I'm I'm, I'm, lean, I'm leaning character. into it. I'm leaning into it because I, I think it's more fun. So is Fred apparently. <laughs> <laughs> so. um... Because, after all, it, Fred is her boyfriend. Yep. So. That's what it meant by the most popular girl. Oh, I didn't read... See, I only read Fred's character sheet. I didn't look at anybody else's. Yeah, that's okay. Um, so, she uh, she is cuddling up to you, and uh, she's kind of lost. So, what are y'all doing? What's the plan? You know, has anybody seen from... Um, Pele today. He wasn't at school. Wait, what? Pele wasn't at school. I don't know. He was usually, but actually, yeah, he wasn't. At I had uh, a book club earlier today, and he didn't turn up. He, was he said the... he was reading. I'm gonna assume oh. he was not at like practice after school. Nope. Okay. Yeah, he wasn't oh. at practice either. Oh no! I wonder if he's okay. He's always a book club. I thought maybe he got ill. Oh but no. But normally he normally his brother comes in and you know, mentions it in class. I don't know. Is Pele on the team? Like is um, he on the I, I presume the hockey team, just given the stick, but. Yeah, we'll we'll say yeah. We'll say he, he is typically on the hockey team. He's um 
he's like an all-round dude. He's like in the book club as well. Third string, like he's there just to be there, kind of. <laughs> yeah, he, he's there because he signed on for it. Yeah, but he he very rarely like gets with him. exactly. He doesn't. He's, he's done good. <laughs> he's he's yeah that klutzy, clumsy kind of nerdy jock, I guess. If you you know the ones. Yeah, the, the book smart guys that sign up for the sports team just to get the scholarship out of it. <laughs> but he's starting way early in middle school, so. Um, hey, it wasn't a practice either. I forgot to notice. I, I actually forgot about that. Well, that's not good. Maybe we should, like, call him or go see him or something. Yeah, I mean, I can tell him what the next book is. He won't know that. Uh, I picked up another one for him. Yeah, I think we should go in and see if he's okay and see what's going on. There's not much else to do around here, is there? Well, DM, I happen to have the, the contact skill. All right. Do you all you want to give him a call then? Well, presumably I would go inside the house to do that. Yeah, you would have to go inside the house, yeah. But. So, wait, tools with them. Da, 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 da. Okay, I was just double-checking to see if this was, I can just get a hold of the guy, or is this, I invent an entire character. Um, I guess I'll just roll contact, which, I'll, I guess I'll just, like, I'll go call his, I don't know, call his house or something. Yeah. Um, so I guess I go out of the treehouse, I go inside, be like, hey, it's Fred. I need to use your phone. And then okay. I'll roll my my contact, which assuming I still have the condition in play. Which means I only have four dice for this. I got a whole success. Alright. On four dice. The phone rings and rings and rings and rings. No one answers at his house. So Huh. And I succeeded, so that means this has to be flawed. Fred does not say that out loud. But <laughs> I'm gonna go back. Fred will go back to the treehouse and be like, "No, well, nobody was at his. Well, nobody answered the phone. Maybe they're having dinner. It's dinner. It's, mm, you still answer the phone, wouldn't That's you? It's kind of weird. I mean, like, I mean, isn't it kind of early to have dinner? No, it's probably six, seven o'clock. Okay. Uh, about dinner time. Never mind. Well, our bikes are just on the lawn. Shall we just hike over there? Yeah, I think we should. I think we, we could just knock on the door. Yeah, I think we need to. I'll bring the book. Um, we've got some snacks here. We can see if he's okay. We can pick up some lemonade on the way. I don't know. Just be nice, you know? I think he's new here. We can be his friends yeah I would like to be his friend like I'm like y'all's friends <laughs> and I kind of give I Fred this Linda. look Fred returns I love Linda, with, like... I don't know what you're, with, with a look that clearly says I don't know what you're talking about <laughs> the look says I think you're stupid but I'm not gonna say I think you're stupid <laughs> no. oh boy I think that part Fred picks up on <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um, so you all get on bikes, uh, and Maria says, I can't go. I have to do the dishes, or my mom is going to ground me for a week. And then I can't hang out with y'all at all. I'm sorry. I know it sucks. I'm sorry, but I don't have a choice. Last time, I got in really big trouble when I didn't do it, so I have Maria, to stay. It will, uh, it will only be ten minutes, and then you can do it. Yeah, Maria, it'd be quick. Come on, be live really a little. Quick. We're just gonna go there and see if something. Your mom's wrong. nice. Yeah. Okay, fine. I'll go with you guys. Yeah, and she'll understand if we tell her that one of our friends didn't go to school and that we were worried about him. She'll, she'll understand. Uh, go ahead and, uh, Fred, go ahead and, are you going to chime in on this? I was going to say, this is a moment where you could use that leadership ability to kind of, okay. to, to kind of. Have I calmed down at this point? Because she's your upset? girlfriend, like. But what is, do I still have the upset thing marked? Um, 
it did depending yeah until you succeed on this you'll still have the condition so once okay, you so succeed have, on the the leadership then you'll you can remove the condition i'll have two dice then, because i don't and actually have the skill add add a die because she's your girlfriend okay so i'll go back up to three yeah all right um, i don't know if that's bonus. actually how it works i'm just doing it because it seems like that Makes would sense. be a bonus i did get yeah. a success that extra die i think helped all right it was the extra die that gave you the. <laughs> it, it was the power of being a horny teenage boy. That's what gave me the power. Nice. <laughs> All right, Ugh. so you uh, you convince you convince uh, the yeah. Maria to go. Oh come on, babe, it'll be fine. And... All right, fine, I'll go. I just it's gonna take like I don't know five ten months, and then yeah, he I mean, doesn't live the wrong age. far from you. All right. Um, I think you'll appreciate it. On your way, you have to go past the school. Um, and when you pass the school, uh, is there a... You don't need to roll anything to see this. It's pretty obvious. As you get closer... Um, you see some flashing lights, like a police car and maybe an oh. ambulance out in front of the school. What the hell? Oh my goodness! What could that? We have to go check oh, that yeah. out. Let's let's uh, let's tie up our bikes. I don't think we'd do that in the eighties. Let's uh, let's discard no, our just bikes. Drop them on the ground <laughs> and start drop running. Drop the bikes. That's uh, that's that's what I learned. I mean. Oh, so, I could, Max will be sort of dragging us towards the uh, the sirens or whatever it is the, yep. the blinking I lights. Wish I brought my hockey boy. stick. I did not think to bring it when I stormed out of the house today. Unfortunate. All right. So as you get closer, you see it looks like the front doors of the school have just been ripped off the hinges, completely what? destroyed. There's glass everywhere, um, and one of the doors is actually sticking out of the bushes in front of the school. I'm um, gonna. Well, I'd I'd like to kind of sneak. Uh, just I want to kind of hide at the bush line, um, and try and get a sense of our surroundings. Who's there? Uh, is the principal there? Is you know what's going on? What's the lay of the land here? Okay, go ahead and roll a sneak for that. Is anybody else gonna? Anybody who wants to hide or follow? I think I need to also do that. I was debating between that and telling Maria and Tim to get out of here. But I think I'm just going to sneak through with my five dice. Success. Nope, that's a failure. On five dice, I got nothing. (laughs) Wow. As is our usual arrangement, something had to go wrong. So while they're doing that, I'm actually going to walk the other direction and follow the bushes the other way. And I'm just going down far enough away that I'm pretty sure nobody's watching me, and then I'm gonna dump the brooch in the bushes. <laughs> okay. I think All I right. fail because I'm just kind of like checking, like trying to get Tim and Maria to like stay with the bikes or, or keep your head down or something, and then I'm just like making too much noise. Alright, as you're, as you're, they start walking behind you like to follow you, and you turn around like, no, you guys need to go home. You might get in yeah, trouble exactly. being here. Like, it's just like, no, no, you guys need to get out of here. And and uh, you're gonna get in super trouble. And you got a broken arm, so the, y'all, y'all, you guys gotta go. And about that time, um, we have a, the, of course, we're just three teenagers arguing in a parking lot. Yeah, you're you're standing in the grass and between the sidewalk and the school, arguing about them leaving, and um, you hear a voice come from the school. Hey, hey, you you can't be here. And you turn around and look, and there's a police officer standing by the front door. Um, and about that time, the paramedics roll someone out on a stretcher. Who's that? <laughs> like this. You're looking? All right. Looking through the bush. Looking through the bush. Linda is sneaking a peek. Um, I have Linda's distraction, unintentionally. <laughs> Go ahead and roll your investigate on that. Like, yes! Uh, wait, investigate is oh Jesus, so many. 
I had to too small. Uh, I got one success. It was that last one that did it. <laughs> this, uh, from what you can tell, it looks like this is um, one of the teachers from the school. It's in the stretcher. On the stretcher, yeah. <gasps> Mr. Jones. You're not sure what, yeah, call him whatever. You're not sure what teacher it is. It's not one of your teachers, but it's obviously an adult and they look like a teacher. Um, oh, it's a substitute. Oh, <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna, um, I wanna call over to Fred. Fred, it's a teacher. It's a teacher. I think because the cops here, I'm just, I'm gonna like try and stealthily be like, I don't know what, they're just gonna completely ignore him. Actually, no, we're gonna just stonewall her entirely like, focusing on the cop. Fred, it's a te teacher. Just, Where's Isabella? Where's Maria? Where's. Where's the, where's well, Maria and Tim are with me because they were oh, I, thought they, me. I thought they had gone. I thought you hustled them away. I don't know. Man, did they run off after yeah, the cop? Because I haven't. They're gone, right? Yeah, they started to, to leave when the cops was like, and you were like, y'all are going to get in trouble. And the cop was like, hey, who are you? And they were like, bye. <laughs> that is exactly what I wanted them to do. Okay, so they're I'm, gone. I'm going to leave the scene. Uh, I'm just going to leave. I'm, I'm going to Where you going? give Linda a look like, I know, I know, I know. And then I'm just gonna pretend like I'm doing what the cops telling me to do. <laughs> okay, so you're gonna leave Linda <laughs> and Isabella in the bushes? Uh, for now, until I jump a fence. All right. I've so got a plan. You, he has a plan. Isabella, what are you doing? You went and dumped the brooch in the bushes by the school, and now uh, you come back <laughs> down, kind of around the corner of the school, and you see a police officer and the stretcher and. Uh, actually, you recognize the teacher. Um, it's uh, Pele's teacher. And you remember after school yesterday, now you re the only reason you remember this and know that it's his teacher is you remember passing in the hallway yesterday after school. She was talking to him and said that she thought he needed to go see the school nurse because he had been, you know, she, she thought something was wrong. He needs to go see the school nurse. And you, you remember that now that you see her. Huh. So I'm going to try to um, come up behind Linda, trying to uh, avoid being seen by the police. Where, where did you go? Oh, I just, I, I was taking a look around. It's That's... A, it's, a it's a teacher. Yeah, it's Pele's teacher. Oh. Yeah, she was telling him that he... I remember now. He had to go see the school nurse. I'm like, he's sick. He's got to be sick. That's got to be what's going on here. He's, well, I mean, aside from what happened here, I, you know. Yeah, uh, so... Okay. Uh, teacher's ill. Oh, this is... This is worth investigating, yeah. surely. I think we should. I, th the I think there's something big happening, right? We've got Pele uh, didn't go to book club. He's always a book club. Teachers are coming out on stretchers. That has to be related. Where Where did Maria go? I don't know where everyone is. <laughs> the police I don't were know. here. I didn't see them. Freddie's gone. I think it's just us. Max, Max, where's Freddie? Where's Freddie? Find Freddie. I'm trying to yeah. figure out where it is. <laughs> well, my plan is that I'm going to kind of go across the grass and sort of head onto the sidewalk, right? Where the school is, make it look like I'm leaving. Then I'm going to turn the other way and try to go around so that I'm out of sight of the cop. And then if there's a fence, I'm going to try and jump it or climb it well, or do whatever. I wonder if we might know some ways in that... I mean, we're students, My, right? my plan yeah, is basically so. I'm going to just, just try to do what I was doing the last time, but from a different angle where nobody can see yeah. me. <laughs> yeah, so you know you can loop around the backside of the school, hop the recess yeah. yard fence, and come up around the front of the school. You you do yep. know that you can do that. Uh, uh, do I have to make rolls for that? No. Okay. It's, you, it's you, probably is, for the best. You're, yeah, you're Fred, athletic and easy. Fred, is about, is it, what's better? Should we go see... Should we go see Pelly, or should we... Oh, do I meet up with the girls now? Yeah, you make it back after a few minutes. He's gone. Sorry, I had to jump the fence. The, 
they load the teacher in the ambulance. The police officer leaves. Um, they've taped up the front of the, you know, put like crime scene tape over the uh, front doors. Crime and, scene. Crime scene. Uh, you you remember hearing the um, one of the administrators at the school tell the police officer, "Yeah, the maintenance team's on their way. They're going to come board this up." Maintenance team. Maybe there's blood. Like a C- like CSI. It's not out yet, but the <laughs> kind of thing. Yeah. I don't know any of these cop shows. So I've got I've got a good idea for a for a TV Magnum show. PI. <laughs> Magnum PI. Magnum PI. Is murder she wrote too old? It's like no? Agatha Christie. Like so. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, Agatha, Agatha Christie. I, <laughs> that Agatha Christie book you read? Yeah, yeah, I just I really need to know what's wrong with Pele, but. If the maintenance team's coming, they're gonna board this up and we won't be able to get in the school later. Pele Pe- must be... it must be part of it, right? What could Pele have done? Do you think he's in the school? What do you think, Pele blew the school up or something? That doesn't make any sense. Probably. <laughs> Maybe he's sick and he's in trouble in the school and we gotta figure out and, and help him. He's definitely in trouble, otherwise he would have been at book club. I think you're right. He's gotta be in trouble. We have to do something. Well, yeah, but... Um, I actually have no idea what you could possibly can, do wrong. Can Let's each do it of you uh, just let me know what uh, um, Isabella first? Are you feeling any particular way about this? Uh, any does this check any of your uh, conditions boxes? Um, no. If anything, uh, Isabella is just very excited about this and okay. wants to know what's <clears throat> going on, and, like. Isabella wants to go in that school, but Isabella's Sam. also equally pulled to go see what's wrong with Pele and go to his house and see if he's there. I think I I feel like Nancy Drew and I, right, right this moment, I have decided to connect dots into this huge goings on in our mundane time. <laughs> All right. And I'm excited. I, I know Pele's nice, but I'm, what's the, there's, you know, blood maybe? Wow, there great way to sell up. A- Sell this kid down the river. This the door, door is ripped in, off the hinges. It's, it's in a no. bush. The door's in the bushes. Do you know how far away that is? You would have to be super. You'd have to be five Freddies to get that kind of lift and and throw. Five nights at Freddies. What? One, <laughs> one Freddy's enough. Okay. Yeah. Uh, there's a way. There's a way to get in through the Mads um, department. I think. They've, they've got yeah, this door. It's right. not very strong. I've gone in before. Um, it sounds like the only time I'm going to ever want to go to math class. Let's do it. <laughs> oh, you should go more. I know the, I know the, I know the door you're talking about. I, I want right. to. It's, I go to math class and then I try to sleep through it. Oh, but math is so great. How could you? It's sleep actually, math? it's really distracting when you do that, Freddie. I just now that we're. What do I snore? To get, it just uh, you breathe funny. That's um, snoring. <laughs> I wouldn't say it's snoring, but I'm, I'm, I'm there. To, we're there to learn. Okay, let's just. Okay, let's, let's just go. go. Let's, let's just go sneak into the school and find the thing. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Look, we go. We'll get a hockey stick and we'll beat up whatever this thing. We is. find Pele, the the big conspiracy. We can write about it for the school paper. That's a thing, isn't it? And it will be famous. And we might be. If we solve this mystery, we could very well be famous. Well, the police will give us a badge. I'm sure that they do that sometimes. If it's a monster, it's going to kill you, so I need to be there so it doesn't. Good. Yes, good. Now, yes. now, now you're thinking like we are. This is good. Okay, yeah, let's do okay, it. All right, and so we, ha- we have Max. Max could, get, could be a police dog after this. They've got course. hockey sticks in the gym. Field hockey sticks, yep. Yes. <laughs> I need this hockey stick for plus two. <laughs> Do All right. something with a hockey stick. All right, so uh, that's what I was going to go. Okay, so the the idea is uh, break into the math class, go to the gym, and get a hockey stick. I yeah. feel like that's my plan. <laughs> um, I mean, it's kind of my iconic item, and I left mine at home, so. Right. What? Um, and, Isabel, you wanted to see what was going on with Pele if it was here, so... What exactly are you going in to try to look for here? I think since the last that I heard, he was going to have to go to the school nurse. 
I'm going to uh, try to go to the school nurses station and see what's there. Okay. And then I am also interested in after that going to this teacher's classroom. That's what I yeah. Yeah, and seeing if there's blood or something in the classroom. Because after uh, Linda started talking about blood, it made me go, oh, "What if there's blood? This is this is obviously a big mystery. We have to see the blood if we're going to figure this mystery out." Okay, I've, so I've, I've opened my diary at this point, and I'm writing like writing. kiss notes. All right, so door in the bush. I'm just sneaking around trying. You're, you're each going to go to your place and then meet up at the classroom. Is that is okay. that? Am I understanding you? Is that what you want to do? I thought yes. we were going to move. Or move as That's a group. probably more efficient. So. I'm just, I'm you, just curious. Yeah. Well, I, I'll go, I'll go straight to the classroom. Get the door open because you know how it opens. Yeah. Go to the mat, but go into maths just because that's how I get in. And then, actually, no, I wouldn't know which room she's in. So I'm gonna, I'll follow Isabella for this if that's okay, okay. because we both have the same goals, I think here. Okay. And then we'll meet up with you, Fred. I think just I'm just going to go run to the gym, gym yeah, yeah, yeah. And then come get back the hockey us. stick, and then immediately come find y'all. Go back cool. to the nurse's station. Okay. Boop, boop, boop. Done deal. Um, because clearly I need to be around to beat up whatever the monster is. <laughs> hockey stick, like a complete hero, and not at all an idiot who's going to get himself killed. Well, the great thing about Tales from the Loop is you can't die. You can't die. die. You cannot that die in this game. takes all the fun out of it. You could be incapacitated, but you cannot die. That's one What's of the... What's the point of charging a battle of a monster if, you can't, if it can't just kill you? Well, it's equally as bad, right? So you can be... You can have all kinds of bad stuff happen, but one of the, one of the great things about this game is you're not killing children. Yeah, I guess that's <laughs> so, the... Uh... <laughs> that's, that's kind of the saving grace, so you can't kill the kids. Now, in the, the second uh, game... Uh, it's a little more dangerous. Things from the flood. Yeah, things from the flood, which oh. is a follow-up from Tales of the Loop. Tales from the Loop mm -hmm. is you're full on teenagers, and there's a lot more risk to it. So, um, I just want to remind everybody that you do have luck points. So, if a roll doesn't work out, and you really want it to try to make that roll work, you can spend a luck point to re-roll yeah. any die, but they only replenish at each at the beginning of every session. Is so, it only okay. one die, or I thought it was the whole pool? Uh, I believe it's one die, I believe is what it said. Uh, yeah, I think it's one, but you had two chance. Like, I got two chances right. to roll. Yep. I think it's that. Luckily. Okay, build dice roll as you reroll. Failed dice. Plural. I think. Where is luck? Failed rolls. There we go. Uh... And also, you can push a roll. That's another thing you can do. So, um, where's luck? And uh, a pushed uh, roll typically means that you have to take a condition to to re-roll. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty standard. Ah. Game. That's cool. Huh. Uh, I don't know why it's written um, as failed re-roll failed dice then instead of a failed die. So yeah, yeah. It's the wording is a little weird. Yeah, because the wording implies you just reroll the whole failed pool. Right, um, and then if the if you push and the reroll fails, you cannot push again, but you can use a luck point or your pride. So yeah, I've got that button. Okay. You can right, push can, a dice roll before or after. Yep, you a make it. Stick? You get a hockey stick. Yeah, you found one. It's pretty my, obvious. My you weapon get of back choice. To it. Um, <laughs> And Paddle mo unknown monsters from space into oblivion. <laughs> <clears throat> or underground or whatever that, well, whatever all that weird stuff comes on. Like, this is know. good because Tales of the Loop is all about kids, young adults, and their wild imaginations. And yes. check us out. <laughs> yeah, no, uh, <laughs> We have already turned this stuff into, comes out of the yeah. or from space. Or any of that weird junk that comes on the channel like really late at night. Yeah. yeah, outer limits I, and. Well, we've already made whatever. up the absolute worst case scenario that could ever be. Uh, oh yeah. Aliens from outer space, blood baths in the gym, that kind of thing. Um, I'm into it. Could be killer yeah. robots. I think it's probably killer robots. So you uh you get to the nurse's office uh, while Fred is running to the gym to find a hockey stick, um, and. 
both of you can roll me an investigate. Cool. To look around and see if you see anything um, involving uh, Pele. One success. One success. And three successes. Oh, wow. Um, <laughs> so, you, uh, Isabel, you see an, um, a note on the nurse's desk. It says, call Pele's parents, and it's today's date. Linda, Linda, yeah. check this out. Cool. Nurses called Pele's parents. Look at this. And I show her the note. Yep. Is it that they called the parents or that they are saying to call the parents? It looks like a to-do, like yeah, a okay. to-do note, right? Um, we, don't, we, don't, we don't know if they rang. Yeah, I mean... They should ring. I don't know. Okay, well, this is good. This is, this is a start, right? He went to the nurse's office... They thought he was sick enough to ring home. Did he get home? Did he get home? Probably not, because no. he's, he's exploded in the gym, right? I don't, I don't want to don't come to conclusions. I don't think he's exploded. I don't think it's like that. Or I hope it's not like know, that. No, I'm scared. But, but there's something weird going on here. And um, obviously there was something wrong with him or the nurses wouldn't be calling his parents. I'm kind of worried. Maybe his appendix is exploded. <laughs> oh no, that would be horrible. I've heard that it happens if they leave it too late. I don't know. I don't know, I heard it. There was a boy um, two times over and it was messy. Maybe maybe he just has like <laughs> strep throat or something. I mean... No, maybe, it, maybe Linda has a great people. imagination. I <laughs> love yeah. this. She's a bookworm. Yeah. But maybe she's reading above her age. Um, um, so, Linda, you, <laughs> while, while that is going on, uh, you lean over the desk, you put your hand down on some pap- papers, and they move underneath your hand as you lean across the desk to look at the note that Isabel is showing you. And right? you see Pele's name on the folder. Pele, Pele, Pele's name again. It's a, it's a manila folder, like a file folder. And it's yeah. just, yep, it was covered up with all this other paperwork. Um, and the very first, if you open it up, the very first thing in it is an incident report from the school nurse. And it's from, he's <clears throat> from the FBI. <laughs> what? That doesn't like, make sense. It's like a secret agent folder. Um, okay. What, what does it say? So oh, oh, oh. you, you open it up and it, it says, um, Today, uh, Pele came to the nurse. You know, it basically starts out the boring way. Um, Pele came to the nurse. And he was acting very strange. He kept referring to himself in the, the plural third person tense. So using words like we and us. Um, and accused uh, the administration of being out to get them. To he get seemed to be him. really scared. Um when I tried to talk to him, he ran away from the school. I immediately tried to call his parents, but there was no answer. Um, about we tried to call the parents. We tried to call, and there was no one there either. Nobody called. Yep. Nobody answered. About five minutes after Pele left, a giant robot came and ripped the doors off the front of the school, <gasps> and then ran away in the direction of the woods. What if the giant robot is after Pele? Or is Pele the robot? I mean, maybe. Prob- and about this time, Fred comes in. I see this robot. <laughs> this is a back scratch. Giant. <laughs> That's okay. Oh. Um, I need something. I, w- I wanted a from some guy. I like it. I, I brought I actually brought my backpack in case I in case you all dress it up. I, I wanted to let's do, I'll do I, I can't see it because of the green screen. <laughs> it's an invisible backpack, it's a magic it's, item. It's there, it's here, it's here. <laughs> yeah, I see it. Yeah, awesome. <laughs> okay. I found no monsters yet. Uh, what, well, you, what do you found? The the mon- the real monster is Pele. What? I don't think it's Pele. Pele. The monsters go Pele. Pele. The guy's a twig. 
He, no, he's a, ma- he's a massive... Master. You cannot... He is a massive robot from the FBI. <laughs> No, I think the massive yeah, robot's out about? to get him. I don't think he's the robot. I think the robot's trying to kill him. No, that makes not more Pe- sense. Not Pele. He's so nice. Think about it. I what know, is more... way too nice to be the Terminator. What are you talking about? Terminator would not be after Pele. No, but you were what? saying tell- Pele was the Terminator. What, what if he is The Terminator I... was nice, though, right? No. But what if he is an FBI agent? He tried to kill him. No, and then the robot the wants place. to know what he wants. I mean, you're thinking of Terminator 2, which right? doesn't exist yet. <laughs> I, Go on, Isabella. <laughs> that would make sense, wouldn't it, if he was the FBI agent and the robot was out to kill him? Oh, oh the yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, okay. That guy can't That's... even shoot a hockey puck. What is he supposed to do with okay. the FBI? Okay, 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 yeah, yeah. <laughs> you just have to be smart. You don't have to be strong. Okay, well, look, would, look, Freddy, Freddy, stuff, right? Freddy, the FBI, they do this, right? They put people in the undercover, and then they get them to go into the into high schools, and they find out information. Wouldn't, wait, wouldn't you pick somebody who's, le- like, like, less what? clumsy, less dorky, less... <laughs> He's undercover. He's, 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 he's undercover, perfect. Freddy. He's undercover. It's perfect. Think about it's, it. It's he's so the person you least expect. I think Linda's onto something. I think he's the FBI, and I think this giant robot's out to kill him. Okay, I well, have you got any problem. better ideas? Look, we got a vanilla, vanilla envelope. Vanilla envelope. That's exactly. <laughs> <I just got laughs> <here. laughs> Are you talking about <laughs> vanilla, vanilla? I don't know. Um, Freddy, do you have any better ideas with your hockey stick? What are you gonna do? Beat an idea out of the air? Maybe. Oh, it might work for beating a giant robot, but I don't know if I could reprogram. I I think we need to figure out where this giant robot is because his I bet that's parents where have ran is. away, and he's ran away, and the robot's in the woods. Why would you be in the woods? Maybe he knows something. Maybe whatever got that teacher. If he's Can after... Can you see that whatever you're holding on to? Because I'm missing so many things. Yeah. I start reading the thing and try to catch myself up on what the hell just happened. All right. Yeah. So you you <laughs> basically... It's a it's a narrative statement from the, the nurse. And it, it says basically what they told you, but it's not as dramatic. Um, <laughs> yeah, because the thing is, it's like, I'm what operating. What do you mean? I, I just show up and it's like, there's a giant rope. Pelly's a giant rope. I'm like, what the? Hang, I'm clearly missing two or three steps. Um, but, but, but everything that they said is actually, um, what? I don't I don't want to do that, Discord. I don't know what you're trying to do. Stop this, doing that. Discord's trying to do what? something. Or uh, Twitch Pele is loses, trying to do something. What, did Pelly lose his mind or something? Did he get hit? I don't know, maybe Pele just got, like, out. hit in the head or something on practice and just went crazy. I don't know. Well, what about the robot? That doesn't make any sense. Okay, the robot on. definitely doesn't make any sense. Big robot, his family have gone missing or something. Didn't answer your phone. Same thing. And now there's a teacher who's been beat up. Well, maybe all his, Probably maybe his by the family robot. were the robots and the, they got the bigger robot to go kill everyone and hide the evidence. Something like that. I'm sure of it, Freddy. Maybe. Maybe. What do y'all think we should do next? Um, Okay. So, I'm gonna ask, uh, as y'all look outside, you notice that it's starting to get a little dark and the street lights are starting to come on. Crap. Um. I need to go home soon. And you hear the intercom system click on in the school, and you just hear feedback. And I don't think we're going to be allowed to leave. It's the giant robot. It's here. Okay, we're going to watch attention right now. Let's just. Let's hide. Let's hide. I've got a freaking big dog with me. They're not a good team like that. <laughs> Freddy's Sorry. got his. Hockey stick. I, at this point, I don't know if he's clinging to it for dear life or actually threatening something with it. Oh. I feel like are are we playing Scooby Doo? I feel like we're playing Scooby. It feels Doo. like like Scooby Doo meets Kids Next Door, right? So, yeah, 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 it's good. I'm, I'm I was thinking it. meet Stranger Things, but okay. Yeah, Stranger Things. Yep. Yeah. 
his next door, Codename His Next Door doesn't have enough shenanigans. We don't have enough random gadgets that have don't work. Diamond don't. says Undercover Robot is the a, a great song title name. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, Diamond. Yeah, I can see that. That's good. Oh, yeah, yeah. Domo Origato, Mr. Roboto. Yes. <laughs> <clears throat> All right. Uh, I so need to hide. Hide. Yeah. I, I want to kind of uh, go into the nearest classroom and just shut the door. And we need to think about what we do next. Yes, you need to come up with a plan. Uh, okay, guys, let's come up with a plan. I'm going to get my diary out. Um, actually, what I'll do is I'll... The, you know the way back in okay, the old guys, days it would have we, books and stuff? We'll can put we some out on the table. Hang on, it's a giant robot, right? Yeah. Yeah, huge. And powerful. Does anyone know how we can set up the sprinklers? Yeah, I think I could probably figure that out. We can like, short-circuit the robot with the sprinklers. Oh, that's really good. Yeah, we just gotta, I don't know, bring the sprinklers or something? I think well, I could do that. I think I could figure it out. I'll just make, I'll just make a tiny fire underneath the, the, the smoke detector right here, and that'll make the sprinklers go off. That's a great idea for are you gonna get I can't under, believe wait, you would even... the sprinklers are on the ceiling. That. You're like, how, what, what, am I gonna hold you up there or something? I'm I've gonna got stand a, on a desk. I've got, I've got a cigarette. <gasps> <gasps> that should do it. That should do it. <laughs> Linda. Wait, don't you need, wait, wow. don't you need like a match or something? Linda's sneaking well, I've Well, I've got that too, haven't I? I'm going to start rifling through the I'm gonna start rifling through the nurse's desk for matches for a lighter or something. Yeah, you've, I've got, you've, I've, 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 Linda? I've got, I've got one. I've got, I've got a lighter. Okay. I've got a lighter. Okay. Look, don't, don't tell anyone, okay? But oh. it, it's for emergencies. But it's fine. Uh, and Your this is an emergency. I just, I just have one for emergencies. <laughs> I, All right, I okay, yeah, sure, okay. whatever. Yeah, this'll <laughs> do it, this'll do it. Okay, because if it's a giant robot and it gets, if it gets wet, then that'll make it short circuit. Exactly. It's, go it's gonna take me a very long time to light this thing. <laughs> I'm not, I'm Have not Have you ever cool smoked it. before, Linda? No. Linda, so you just stole a cigarette to be cool, right? In case, yeah. Yeah, okay. I'm fairly certain I've seen other, like, the hockey teacher or somebody else do this. Yeah. Um, all right. So Linda, you after a couple of minutes, yeah, you you get the you get it lit. It's fine. Um, it's fine. It's a, my emergency. <coughs> okay. <coughs> uh, yeah. Reminds me. Reminds me of actually stealing the cigarette. <laughs> right. I mean, yeah. Yeah. Thirteen. I never did that. No. Never. No. Sure. I didn't. didn't. I never did. And my uncle caught me. I uh, I stole it from my uncle. Me and my cousin, we ran outside, around <laughs> in the, the alleyway in Belfast, and we're smoking away. And then he comes out because apparently in the in the old days you would count your cigarettes. And he was like, mm. Ah, you stole my cigarette. It was a terrible yep. moment in my life. Yes. And I've never <laughs> committed a crime since. See, we did bring something up from your childhood. See, it's pretty good. Oh, look at me, nobody in my family. It's pretty great. Um, <laughs> All right, so you light the cigarette and you are you uh, get enough okay, smoke good. going. You're coughing, giant robot. and you you blow on the smoke detector. And after a minute, um, sure enough, <laughs> you the the alarm starts going off and the lights start flashing, and the and it's just really loud. We and can't. That was, it was the sprinklers, not the smoke alarm. Those are two different things. What? And the sprinklers don't come I can't on. hear you. Why are the sprinklers not on? Screw this. I, I would like to use force to uh, break the sprinklers. Well, actually, no. I don't think I want to break the sprinklers yet. Um, we need to turn the fire alarm off. <laughs> I don't know. This was your idea. You've got oh, a no, hockey stick. Why are you the sprinklers not the smoke alarm? The dog's upset, okay? Go and yes, smash up Max is the fire not alarm. happy. Um, Max. Is there like? Actually, wait. I have tech skills for some stupid reason. Um. I do now I'm upset. Anything. I'm upset. I. I. You can. Um. I tell you what. Um. I think the only th option I can think of at this moment is just to break the smoke alarm. You can use a tinker. Um. I'll give you. I'll give you a, a chance at using tinker. I can do this. I can do this. I know how yeah. to do this. Wait, can I help? I actually have that skill. Yeah, if you both have it, you can help. Uh, I, think... I think I just give her a die. It's okay. Something. I got it. I got it. We're good. 
I yeah. don't believe you. Uh, of course you don't. You need to program something. So that's what this. Oh, you want me to program check? Yeah. It's a uh, tinker is also. your tinker tech. Um, so tinker is building things. Program build, actually. manipulate, and program. Right. So mm. and calculate. So those are the four. Um, I can calculate real well. Yeah, so I this would actually be. Um, oh yeah, of course. Uh, no, I'll give you a straight that's tinker. Sweet. Ability to manipulate machines. Right? Yeah. yeah. It's a, you find the alarm panel and there's a keypad on it. So I'll, I'll give you, you have to um, enter have you got a, a code. Have you got and a calculator? Reset. <clears throat> yeah, I have a calculator. Can you, Will that help in this you, case? I, uh, <laughs> Since it's a tech item, yes, that is sure. my iconic item. I'll give, you, I'll give you the bonus. Sure. Oh. If that uh, doesn't work. Give one die to help, one but it sounds like that's not happening. Right. No, you can give a die if you're helping. Yeah. I don't think she's accepting it. But okay. Are you accepting the help? Okay, it gives yeah, you a die. Sure. Okay. He's going to stand over your shoulder and tell you what buttons to push. And I'll just actually, he's holding, I actually like he's holding you up. He's holding you up high enough to, uh, to reach the keypad because it's up above your head. Oh, okay. Thanks. This, <laughs> this helps, Freddy. No problem. <laughs> Uh, the extra dice didn't didn't give me anything additional, so I've got one success. One success. I tried. Um, one success is not going to do it. Um, uh, it's not working. It's so Play again. Loud. We have to switch them off. I mean, I am really, really smart. I should be able to do this. Yeah. yeah you're, okay. Yeah, I mean. Yes. You're so smart. Well, do, do the smart thing. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll do smart it. Time. I'll I'll do it again. Okay. I'll try this again. Meh, so I'm meh, gonna push. Meh, meh. Yep. Push. Oh. All right. Yep. I'm pushing. And no boy now. None. <laughs> no I successes. Have one success. None. Okay. So. So that. I mean, don't you have luck points? Or I something? can use a luck. Yeah. I'll use a luck. All right. So it's one one luck for one. But die, you also right? take a condition for your failed push. Yeah. So. So I'm. <clears throat> I am upset because I'm smart. And I should have been able to do this, and I can't yeah. believe I couldn't. And I used the luck, and it didn't help either. So. <gasps> wow. Okay. Well, this is unfortunate. So Fred. <sighs> Fred puts you down. And goes. My turn. <laughs> <laughs> All right, sure. Does her success count? I don't. I don't know if it does or not. She can tell you what. What? Yeah, I'll, I'll give you a, a bonus die because she did get one success. So I'll give you one success and give you a bonus die. All right. Um, I actually I Linda? have three tech and one in program. So. Okay. So yeah. Theoretically, you, this is not impossible for me. Yep, Linda. Uh, as Fred's working on the keypad, you look out the front what would be the front doors, and you see headlights pulling into the schoolyard. I got one, by the way. One success? You got yes. one success, plus the one that was already done? And about so, that time... It's it's one plus... Okay, it's actually two, then. So total of two successes between I, I the two. I got a six out of these five things. Yes, so it's a total of two. Um, and about that time, the alarm shuts off. Oh, that's... <sighs> oh, that was so loud. Yeah. They, they okay. know where we are now. Okay. They have to know where we are now. Look, we are solving a crime, you know? We're solving a crime. Sometimes things don't go well. And then we get, you know, it's all part of the story. The alarm went off. It was scary. It's okay. We're war it's war look, it's but war now it's good. Terrible. Yeah. Maybe the giant robots heard it. And then... Oh. Yeah. It's It'll come right into our trap. Exactly. Yes. We should build a trap. A big one. I think big, we should it's a see big. what it looks like first, because then yeah. we know how big it needs to be, because a giant robot, I mean, that could be... They can get big. Room That could be as big as the school. It's what if it's as name, tall yeah. as the Empire State Building? Well, it's not as big as the school, because it had to take the door off, so it had to actually go through the doors. Uh, unless yeah, unless so. it was massive, and it bent down, and then... It, what it if it's took, like a transformer? It took the door like this. That could be a transformer. It's well, if it's a transformer that has guns, is. in this case, we're screwed. 
<laughs> well, it, well, if it's after the FBI, it's going to have guns, right? So are we going to get the FBI? Wait, are we still in the FBI's guns now? No, no, no. This giant robot is an enemy of the FBI. So the, Pele. So wait, the Decepticons, the Decepticons are the enemies of the FBI. Is that what we're saying? The giant robot? Yeah, why wouldn't they be? I mean, yeah. <laughs> Oh, this is great. This is great. Um, you look out and you hear the, a car door close out the front. <gasps> door, and then you hear another one. And you look out and there's a big white van that says uh, Boulder City Department of Education Facilities Department. Oh, yeah, they said that they were going to come and like board up the door. Okay, well, <clears throat> I think as long as we're quiet, they won't know we're here. But then they'll board us in. But we got in through the math door. Yeah, you just use the same thing and get out. Just, yeah. Or it's like open a window. But yeah. if that giant robot doesn't come, we gotta go find it. The giant robot's in the woods. Yeah. Maybe we should just go ahead and go to the woods. Okay, look, can before Max, we do like, that... Can Max, like, track the giant robot? Can Max, like, smell the giant robot? No, Ma uh, Max can sit, and um, I can do this little paw thing where you say paw, and then Max gives you his paw. I haven't. Just think it'd be really good if Max could smell I haven't. A giant I haven't trained Max in the police stuff yet. I was hoping if we solve this crime, the police will see that oh, and that then give. Work. Oh, it has worked. I can see it now. You guys can see it, but um, I really messed yeah. up the this, this stream. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, the overlay is like... Oh, let's rip have a look. Stream. So that's rip stream crazy. for a minute while I share this. <laughs> Love it. Oh, that's crazy. That's um, better. That's a, a that's good. That's, that's quite a map. It adds um, to mystery. It's good. Oh, wow. This is... Wow, Billy broke it. Use the hashtag, everybody. Billy broke wow, it. Wow, yeah. I don't know what did. I did. Billy broke it. Um... Now I can't get back to stop sharing my screen. I want to stop sharing. How do you stop sharing? <laughs> oh no. I can't get back to it now. Um, so if you are hovering over the Zoom um, screen, then you should have, see a green button that says share screen. If you just click on it again, it should stop That sharing. whole screen went away when I started sharing. Oh wait, I see it. I see it. It's on that screen. There we go. There you go. Um, I'm going to do a a little different then. What I'm gonna do is I will drop this. I was hoping to share the map with everybody in the But it just sort of broke the entire overlay. <laughs> yeah. So let me let me try and do this a different way. Where did my cursor go? There it is. Nope. Yeah, one I'm gonna second, just do gonna this. this call. All right, I tell you what. While we do that, why don't we take a quick break, uh, and and then we'll be back in just a few minutes, and that'll help me set up this uh, screen share. Sounds so good. We'll be right back in just a few minutes, folks. Stay with us.
And we're back as Ben chugs down the last sip of water. We hope you got your snacks. We have refueled and are, are ready to get our second half of the game on. Um, if you're just joining us, thanks for tuning in. We're playing Tales from the Loop tonight, everybody. And uh, we're having just the absolute marvelous time. Uh, they are currently in their school. Uh, they just set the fire alarms off. The maintenance department has pulled up to fix the front doors. Uh, they did get the fire alarms turned off, however, so the, the alarm has stopped going off. Uh, no maintenance will be any wiser. Yeah, maintenance has pulled up. I think we got away with it. Yeah, well, I hope we did. Yeah, we did. Let them let let y'all just take over. Go for it. Keep All going. Right, That's so... great. Wait, okay. did, wouldn't Pele go run back to his house instead of the woods? Like, why would you go run off the woods? It's like wait. It's like. What if there's like a secret hideout or something in the woods? It wasn't safe to go home because the robot knows where him and his family live. So him and his family have gone into hiding in the woods, right? Because that's where you would go. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. Is like, is it, yeah. What, do you think there's like a secret cabin or something? Yes. We should exactly. Look. We need to look. Or maybe like an underground tunnel. Probably that. We should... Um, well, if there's an underground tunnel, it might be like here or something, or in his house and underneath it. But the From robot... House to the woods? That's a long way. That is a long way. That's why the underground tunnel would beat it. It's possible. I don't know, maybe and they it... have an invisible car or something. That's not possible. <laughs> We're talking about giant robots! What isn't possible at this point? But even the adults said they saw the giant robot. Yeah. We need to... And they don't see anything. Let's True. get some flashlights. Let's get some snacks. And when the let's go to the cafeteria, grab some uh, bites. <laughs> I don't know what some they have. Some uh, pudding yeah, packs, that's it. Some yeah. pudding cups. <laughs> What's an American crisp? I don't know. <laughs> some crisps. Um, Lay's. What? Lay's. Potato chips. Potato yeah, Doritos. Yeah. Doritos. Let's get some Doritos. Do they even okay. exist in the eighties? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, okay. they did. Nacho cheese flavor. Cool Ranch came out in the late 80s. So. Okay. Right, hey, get... th there's a cool new flavor. Let's, let's, look. let's get to the tuck shop. Let's get what we can. Um, get some flashlights from the I don't know, science department. I don't know. Maintenance. Uh, so, somewhere. We'll find them. And then let's go. Time is of yeah. the essence. Yeah. We're hot on the tail. We're going to be so famous. We're going to be When we really find Pele... Yeah. yeah. We have to save Pele first. Exactly. Yeah, that's the important part. That's the most important part. Yeah, the, the whole bitchy famous thing comes after that. I know, it's just nice, isn't it? As we save him. I mean, it'd it just kind of be like, the school, it's sort of be how it is with the school, with me, except all with, with everyone else. We might get a trophy. Do they do trophies for this kind of thing? It, I maybe. They do medals? I, I could get the... Should... We should go ahead and go look. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So where are you going to look? So at the woods. I think. So uh, take a look at the map that I sent you uh, in the Discord. And sorry, I can't share this uh, with everybody. It will really mess up the overlay. So, what's um, the scale? so the scales up at the top, where it says area map, you've got. Uh, Pretty, it's looking like that's probably at least a few miles. It's several miles, yeah. It's about four miles, I think, from downtown Boulder City to uh, the park uh, up there. Crap, the map's in kilometers. Well, uh, that's a long way to go to the woods for yes. some kids. And it's it's yeah. pretty getting dark outside. The street lights are on. Um, you know you're supposed to be home when the street lights come on. Um, and you do have school tomorrow. I think it's... School? They... School? 
School school's not even standing anymore. School doesn't have doors. There's people I mean, exploding. There's doors. Like there's still a whole building there. <laughs> they won't have school tomorrow if there's no doors. That's that's illegal. <laughs> the doors. I think no, they're blocking us in. But not by the doors. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Oh. Um, a flashlight shines down the hallway. Oh shit! And and you hear a voice. Hey. Somebody down there. And one of the maintenance guys is standing at the at the front doors and he's shining his light down the hallway. Okay, but I, I got... heard I thought I heard you. If you're in here, you better get out. I think it is time we, we do the the clearly clever thing and hide slash run away. <clears throat> <laughs> Shh, Max, shut the fuck up. It's okay. <laughs> Max. Is there like a window we could like sneakily crack open and get out of here? Uh, you can, yeah, there's windows. Uh, there's a window in the nurse's office, sure. Okay. We could just talk to them. And get busted for sneaking out of school. Hey, Hi. Fred, you could talk to them. And then you see what You're they say. You're so popular. Yeah, I mean, no, everybody likes adults. you. And look at those muscles. I do I have mean... those. <laughs> Linda. Adults don't care about muscles. What are you talking about? But you're popular for a reason, right? You should tell them, with... tell them that you forgot your hockey stick thing, back scratcher, and you came back to get it because you were practicing really hard for school. For the tryouts of I don't know I'm now thinking about American TV. Right, let's investigate this. So That's the thing. And then, yeah, talk, oh talk, 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 talk to them and say, have who? Why did someone explode in in the gymnasium? That's, and then oh, really that so didn't happen. If they try to catch you, we'll go out. So after we're outside, we'll make some really loud noises so you can get That's, away. Yes. Okay, fine. I'll, I'll, I'll good. give him some crap, and then you guys make a distract. You make a distraction, and then I'll meet you back up at... What, are we going to Pele's house, or are we going to the woods? Or, oh, or are we going to the like, I think That's kind go. of a problem, dude. We, yeah, we probably should. We're going to get in so much trouble. I don't know. My parents don't like it when I hide, Um, And I actually yeah, didn't have any dinner. Home. I think we should go. Maybe we should go. Okay, fine. Fine, we'll meet up after school tomorrow. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. That's fine. Okay. Um, where I'm gonna sneak. I know. I might. You sneak. And then, and then, and then, when I get out, I'm gonna knock the door real, real heavy, and I'll get Max to bark a lot. Okay. Okay. So you've got a few minutes. We we believe in you. You can do this. I think that's good, right? I. Bye bye. Good All right, luck. I'm gonna go. Good luck, do... Fred. Don't die. Don't <laughs> 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 All right, so you, you're gonna you go. You could in. scratch their back, so I scratch my back. You, well, it, I have the prop here. It's supposed you could to be literally do it. That's what I mean. Yeah. Um. All right, so I, I suppose Fred's gonna like open up the door and be like, "Uh, hello. What are you doing in here, kid? I... School's closed." Can't you see? Yeah, I know. We were just late for practice. I forgot my hockey stick. We were going to... It's like, I just needed to come back and get, you know, get this for late for practice. Um, All right, roll a charm. Uh, do I get plus two for my hockey stick? Is sure, evidence? I'll give you the plus two oh. for the hockey stick. The hockey stick is evidence. Yes, That's right. now I have Seven. its heart, and I definitely don't have that skill. So, plus five, half rocks go. I'm gonna use a luck point on that, I think. So I'm gonna be down to one. But I got it! Yay! Yeah. Right. I have one. one success. I also goes, only have one luck point, but it was well spent. Nice. Alright. You're you're Fred, right? You're that hockey star, right? Yes. Star Star I, of the hockey team, yeah, yeah. God, yeah. I have a buddy who's really into NHL, and he would know exactly what the right position I'd be in, my friend would be in, but I don't. Whatever. You're the Stryker. guy that scores all the hockey goals for the team. 
look, just get out of here. I won't tell anybody you were here. Just go home, kid. It's late. Yeah, yeah, I know. Sorry. All right. Thanks. And then I run back. I'm going to go home now. All right. I deal with the fallout of my parents hating parents. You all see. Uh, really the crap out of me. Uh, let's see. Oh, and then I can I can get uh, Max <clears throat> to bark. Sorry, I know that's a bit meta, but there we go. Yeah, you can get Max to bark and whatnot. And, uh, and then do I roll move to get out of dodge as fast as humanly possible? Uh, you don't have to. You don't have to roll move. He he's not gonna impede your progress. He really he's there to do one thing. He turns Ooh. around looking for the barking dog. I'm out of here. Where is this uh, dog? Freaking dogs, man! People need to take their dogs inside at night. And um, it's gonna leg it. You guys, uh, you guys get back to your bikes and ride on home. Uh, and we all proceed to get grounded as hard as humanly possible. Um, you can Ooh. you can all roll a sneak to try to sneak back into yes. your house. You are late, so uh, I'll do that. I'll do that. So sneak. But I have to take a, a penalty for being upset, right? Um, yes, because you're still upset because you could not find Pele. So I did not sneak successfully. I got one. All right. My dice are actually performing rather well today. That's good. Nice. Um, did you make it, Isabella? Did you make us? I did not. Okay. Um, Maria is in the kitchen doing the dishes. Uh, she's finishing up as you open up the back door and sneak in, and she sees you, and she says, she looks at you and she goes, come here. Yeah. You won't believe what happened. You're in big trouble, little lady. You didn't mom, cover mom, for me? I tried, but mom and dad left and they're driving around town looking for you. Oh, no. Now, God, it's going to be worse for me. Where were you? That's not good. We, <laughs> you know where we were. We were at the school. You left. We went in. Finish the dishes and I won't tell them. Okay, that's 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 reasonable. But I have to tell you about what happened. Fine, so tell me, and she'll sit dishes. down and, and start eating a snack, and you tell her everything that happened while yeah. you while you're doing the dishes. So I tell her all about the Pele is actually an FBI agent, and he has a hideout in the woods with his family, and the the school nurse found out, and then a giant robot tried to attack him, and the giant robots what tore the doors off the school. And killed the teacher, because the teacher was clearly dead. Right, exactly. <laughs> this is going like the fish. It's a fish story. <laughs> um, Linda, you you did make it. You said you made one success. You no, said, no, no, six, no, no success. It was, okay. The, do the dog was barking. Yeah, the dog so. was barking. Yeah. So uh, when when you get in, Linda, um, the door kind of slams when you when you step in. And uh, your dad's on the couch, and he, he sits up, and he looks at you, and he says, uh, You've been hanging out with that Frederick kid again, haven't you? I can smell it. How is this boy? Smells like cigarette smoke. He was smoking that day. <laughs> I told you, you need to stay away from boys like that. I no good. I told him to stop, and I said, that's not good for you, and you will die. Um, and spe speaking of dying, do you know who's dead? Who's dead? Okay, a lot of people, actually, Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Uh, a lot lady. of people. Uh. Daddy, no, seriously, this is really serious. We should probably leave, because we're all in danger, and I think the robot's on to us, right? Daddy, seriously, can we pack? Because I'm really scared. Pele, you, he, oh no, it was Tim. Oh, for, also, Tim broke his arm, and that's why he didn't cut the grass, okay? And also, a lot of people at school are dead. I don't think I, I should go in tomorrow. It's unsafe. <laughs> and that's why I'm late, Daddy. I'm so sorry. And also, I had to stop um, Freddy from smoking. It's such a bad habit. I don't know 
where you get your wild imagination from, but oh, you sure are a imaginative one. Why don't you should you should write this down in a book and sell it? That would be great. And he kind of laughs it off. Says, "All right, go take a bath and and get to bed. It's you have school in the morning." Okay, but also if. If there's a giant robot and it's and it goes bad, is, do you have any advice, Daddy? How how do they deal with that? I oh, just... the loop takes care of that stuff. They'll, they they have people. They have a button they can push, and it turns all the bad robots off. Oh, okay. Uh... He's not really. He's just kind of, you know, talking to you from behind. Okay. Um, buttons. Okay. Good night. Buttons. Buttons. Good night. Good night. Okay, I've solved it. And he goes back to his TV show. So. Hi, Daddy. Okay. Bye-bye. And, uh, all right. Uh, so. I Fred, got one success. Fred, you uh, have this uh, neat little trick of getting into your room. Your window, you can open it from the outside. There's no screen on it. And so you Yeah, can, I probably just use the hotkeys to like close yeah. it up very slow. And you jump up and you can pull yourself in and get right yep. in without any trouble. Um, yep. You, you dodging all, all consequences. Yes, dodging all the consequences, um, except that of Linda's father. <laughs> well, I wasn't in the room for that one. Yeah, I know. I don't uh, know that happened. No, no, you don't. Uh, you go to sleep uh, as best you can. It's a restless night. Uh, you I get up in the morning. Giant robots killing me. Yeah. Cause also, maybe giant robots killing Maria. Also, maybe giant robots killing... Giant robots killing lots of people. Giant robots... You all have dreams of this giant robot army that just levels the whole city and then takes over the world. Yeah, until we press the massive button. If we all jump on it at once, then we win, and then we get the Nobel Peace Prize. Yep. That's my dream. There you go. Um, the next day, you get up, you have your breakfast, your lunch is waiting for you on the counter... Uh, little sandwich bags. Um, your mom and dad are talking about work. Not really paying you any attention, any of you. Um, and it's pretty much on your own. Get your cereal, get your, you know, stuff together. Maria helps Isabella find her shoes and get everything. And then you all Maria's head off. Maria's the best sister ever. Yeah. And uh, you head off to school. Um, Good again, seeing what they did to stop, fix the giant robot shit. Yep, so you see um, a bunch of kids stand out front staring at the doors. There are new doors, but they're just like regular wood doors. They're not the nice glass doors that were on your school before. Uh, but there are doors on the school, and a bunch of kids are talking about what happened. And somebody said, I heard a car drove through the school. And um, somebody says that... Uh, um, Frederick's, uh, was it? Yeah, Frederick's dad got drunk again and crashed into the school uh, yeah, with his car. <laughs> um, can I can I go up to those kids? Yeah, sure. I say actually no. Um, the F- okay, look, the FBI were here. I have it on very good authority. Don't ask me why, but. It wasn't Freddy's dad, it was the big robots. And Pele's in trouble, have you seen Pele? Because we need to save him. Oh, like, Pele? Who's that? The, you know, I don't really know him, but he goes to the book club, and he's also oh, a jock. Is, is that that creepy new kid? He's not creepy, just, he's my friend. He's weird. Why? Because he's just, he's weird, he always like- You're weird. Whatever. Why? Can I. And then, uh, go ahead. Can I roll my contacts yes. to Twice check it. the. Basically, I'm going around to the team and saying, like, hey, have you guys seen Pele around? Have you guys seen Pele around? Yeah, the yeah the weird new kid, that guy. Where is he? You know what happened to him? Okay. Yeah, you can do that. Um, All right, I've got five dice on this because that's one of the skills I actually have. All right. I. Got one success. Okay. Um, Isabella, what are you doing? I'll come back to your success. That's fine. Um, so I'm. I get to the school and um, 
I'm just gonna go ahead and go straight to homeroom. Okay. Because I'm a good student and I don't want to get in trouble for missing homeroom. All but right. when I get to homeroom, I'm going to start asking people if they know about the giant robot. And they all look at you like, one of them says, which one? They're all over. The one that rampaged the school and chased Pele. Uh, who's Pele? He's the new kid. Uh, you're weird. Why, why do you you need no you just hey is that my pencil that that's my pencil from yesterday no it's miss jones isabella stole my pencil you see these teeth marks on there your pencil didn't have teeth marks on it oh my God. yes it does because i chew my pencil no you could see look this matches my teeth <laughs> That's great. All right, so you go back and forth with that. Um, the You ask around, and one of your teammates says that... Uh, well, I guess to add some context, presumably I'm doing this, you know, like in between classes. In, yeah, just throughout the day as you're talking. Yeah, throughout the day, like in between yeah. classes, maybe at practice, like a gym or... Okay. Um One of the things that you find out is that Pele's parents have a boat out on out on uh, Lake Mead. And you heard that, you know, sometimes they, they take a long week and go out there. You heard him talk about his parents having a boat. Or not you did, but the, the kid that you're talking to. Yeah. I'm, he I'm was like kind of bragging about it one day at practice. Like, um, yeah, and my parents have a sailboat on Lake Mead and being all snooty about it. Dick. I can't see that on. Where is it on the map? Like, no. It's like, it's uh, it, basically in the north of the big map. Like, half of it's in the main reactor circle thingy. Oh. Yeah. So yeah. the big circle that <laughs> the goes huge, around the huge lake. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. The, the big Sorry. body of water. <laughs> the big body yeah. of water there. Yeah. In between Nevada and Arizona, that that's like yeah, neat. Yeah. That okay. flows into the Hoover Dam, which I've actually seen in real life. It's pretty impressive. Wow. Um, Many years ago, because I'm old. Okay. Um, the name of the boat was is uh, how do you say it? Maleva, M I L E V A. Maleva. Maleva. Interesting. M I L E V A. Yeah, of course. I'm the team captain, or some or something important. I have to obviously look after my teammates. That's right. Even when they're weird and snooty and brag about having giant boats. When people say they've got a big boat. Just have to be yep. careful about that. Oh. Um, the day goes by pretty uneventfully, um, other than what little bit of stuff that happens when you you try to find out info about Pele or kids teasing each other. Um, have, have I been able to find out this whole? He's weird. Is there any any reason why he's weird beyond him being new and it just being like a new kid um, thing? You talk to some of your closer friends, and you find out that lately, ever since he got here, he, uh, he, everything was fine at first. But after a couple of weeks, he started like talking to himself, and he would say really strange things, like he was being watched and things were out to get him. And then he started talking in the third person. The third person. Okay. You know, and. Does this, like, reflect, do, do, would me or would I or people on the team have, like, seen that happen? Uh, yeah, probably. You probably would have gathered that, too. Because, yeah. I mean, it, it's a bunch of teenage boys here. Like, presumably, if Pele started going all wonk, like, crazy, then people would have started teasing him or something. Well, he never showered with the team. He always showered by himself, which you all thought was kind of weird, but whatever, new kid. You know, you all have grown up together in this town, and he's the yeah, new yeah, kid. Yeah. And, um, okay. But yeah, oh, he, okay. he kind of kept to himself with the team. He he just did his practice thing, and then, which you thought was kind of weird, but yeah, that's not normally how teams work. Yeah, um, and then Isabella, um, 
with you were talking about um, you find in the school where is it I lost it I had it there's a note somewhere I lost the note <laughs> there's supposed to be a note <laughs> um, where is it Magical note. Oh no. And now we lose the entire adventure because the DM got one. It was just a novel kind of thing. It wasn't really anything plot heavy, but it was just a. Uh... This has uh, to be magical if the notes are disappearing. Right? <laughs> <laughs> um. Oh, you actually, it's not a note. I, that, I, it, I see the word diary and it made me think it was a note. Uh, and that's why I couldn't find it because I was looking for a note. Uh, you hear a couple of kids <laughs> over uh, talking at lunch and one of them says they found your sister's diary. Um, so. You found a diary? Did you say you found my sister's diary? Who are you? And these are older kids. They're like, your sister's age may be a year older. They don't really even know who you are. You said you found Maria's diary. Yeah, what's it to you? Maria is my sister. And? So if that's her diary, I have to get it back for her. What are you going to do? I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna lunge to grab it. Okay. Uh, roll a. I think that's gonna be a move, right? Let's see. I think it's force. Oh, well, yep. That'll be a force. Yep. Oh, be force. Oh, not gonna I bet you wish it. you had the hockey guy around. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. I rolled one dice. One. And I got a success. Yes. <laughs> yes. Well, as oh. they're kind of holding it up, you know, like, nanny, 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 you can't get it. And they, you are smart and you're clever. And when they dip it down to pull it back up, you time it just right and snatch it out. Now roll a move to run away. All right. Uh, no, I don't run away though. I might have been able to grab it, but I can't run away. All right, you turn to oh, run I hope away. Oh, fell over. <laughs> <laughs> Got my feet like all. I'm, I'm kind of an awkward. You're so nervous. nervous. So. You, you, <laughs> yeah. my shoelaces that were untied. you turn to run away and the cafeteria monitor is standing right in front of you and you turn and run right into her. And she looks down and she says, well, well, if it isn't Sticky Fingers Isabella. I'll take that, please. That's my sister's diary. I was getting it back for her. Look, you can see right here. And I'm going to open up to the front page where it has her name. And she looks at and she says, all right, you can go this time. And I'll, I'll be watching of, you. I'll give her kind of a look, and then I'll just kind of like slink off. Sticky fingered Isabella. <laughs> That's um, gross. Yep. <laughs> Very disgusting. All right. Um, anybody doing anything else during the day? Is there are there any other questions or investigating um, you all wanted to do? I think I would I would quite like to just stock up on as many flashlights. Uh, I'm going to try and maybe get into like the janitor's cupboard or something. Okay. I feel like I'm preparing for a great adventure. I have brought a massive bag, the biggest bag I could find in the school alongside my little satchel. Um I I'm on an adventure. Okay. So I definitely have a hockey stick sticking out of a gym bag. Oh yeah, definitely. You actually, uh, you brought. That's your, probably not even weird. No, you brought your whole like hockey gear, not your pads and all, but you like have your face mask and your helmet and your hockey stick, and you're like gonna be armored. Yeah. Time to be full Casey Jones right now. Yep, yep. Um, so if you're gonna go, let's see. Go ahead and 
Are you going to wait for school to be over, or are you going to do this during school? During school. During uh, school. We have. I have no time to waste. We have to act now for Pele. All right. So go ahead and. How do you want to do this? Do you want to break um, in and steal it? Do you want to try to talk somebody into giving you something? How do you want to do it? Let's go with... I would like to try and charm someone into okay. doing it. Who are you going to talk to? That is my best your, your, chance uh, of success. The custodian, maybe? Mm -hmm. you're, you're, you're the custodian lady that always cleans up for you guys? Yes. What's a custodian? What's that? Yes. that the thing? janitor. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That one. Yeah, yeah. Them. What's the? I, I would know the name. What's the name? Uh, Miss Sally. Everybody calls her Miss Sally. 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 What oh, did you? Hey, Linda. Lin okay, Sally. You can tell me, because I already know. Okay, what's going on? I already know. It's. I. I know that Pele's in the FBI. I know that teacher died. And i it's so strange that they're not saying anything. And anyway, I need the flashlights. Have you got, do, you have, do they have flashlights? They must what? do. What are you going on about, girl? That's. I just need one, two, three, four, like six flashlights. And I will bring back. Is this some kind of science experiment y'all doing? This is yes, yes. <sighs> That's fine. That roll one. your roll your heart. Uh, I guess it's charm, but I don't think you have any charm. But it would be heart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. None. I'll push it or whatever. Okay. Yeah, you can it, push. It is definitely a pushing thing. Yeah, you can. Or push. use your pride if that makes any sense. Or you can use your pride, but your pride push. is what's your pride? I don't. Uh, I don't believe I have any pride. I keep going no, no matter what. Um, uh, your pride oh, is. I, I keep going no matter what. So you. That can, is so by right. <laughs> yeah, can you that. can. You can use your pride. To, okay, let's 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 use my pride. Okay. Which just rerolls everything. Yep, just rerolls. Miss re Sally, Miss Sally, I'm serious though. I need the flashlights, and if you have any like like a hammer, I don't know. Just also, no. Nope. Okay. No. Um, that was a one yeah. percent thing. Yeah. You know, I, uh, I I don't have a a key to the to the to the maintenance closet. I just have a key to the custodian's closet. And we don't have flashlights, honey. I'm sorry. Uh, why am I Why am I speaking you can, to you then? I, I thought you were the right person, Sally. <laughs> Sally. Why don't you, can you, you do me a favor, Sally, you know that I'm legit. Go talk to the the other one, the mate, whoever it was, who has the flashlights. Please, Sally, seriously. I'll see what I can do your, for you. Your life depends on it. I can't say any more because oh we're in too deep, Sally. We're in too deep. I mean it. And, and I really uh, care about you. She, she says, okay, okay, I'll talk to him, but I can't make you no promises. I'll meet you at lunch, um, uh, like I, I by the smoking sheds. I'll give you. A, I'll even give you a cigarette for them. I've only got one. Okay. Well, we'll see what we can find. And uh, she takes her mop and just keeps mopping the halls. And Sally, Sally, stop mop. Sally, don't mop. Seriously, this. I is... can't just go straight over. I guess this has got to be clever, not. Okay. Like, meet me at lunch. You. Okay. And uh, she starts yeah. heading down the hall. She says, don't you need to be in class anyway? Um, there will be no classes if the robots <laughs> come back. You've, you've seen the door? You, see, you saw the door? And she's just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. We know what happened. So. A robot. I'll a get robot. you your flashlights. I'll get the flashlights. Just, okay. I know um, you need I'll, them for your robot experiment. Whatever that's that it. is. That's it. That's it. It's so important. Sally. Goodbye. Yeah, I've got one more idea. Okay. Can I go on the school computer in, like, the library or something? Or does the school have computers? Or am I thinking too far? No, the school would have a computer. Sure. Okay. Can I, can I just go on the computer and try to, like, 
look up like a bus or something to Lake Mead because that's a really that's like all of the kilometers away oh, and we're yeah. not getting there on a bike you'd be surprised I ride a bike 12 miles a day each, well each way 25 miles a day to work back and forth so you'd be surprised how far you can get on a bike in a day okay. but yes well, you can go look up bus routes I think that's probably fair if we can just get somewhere close enough um let's see what's out at you can get out to there's a bus uh you can look for bus routes there's probably one out to hoover dam the lodge um yeah i'm just kind of trying to and there's also the bus out to the main uh loop facility okay just looking because it looks like where's the lodge here uh, it's on Highway 93 between the two Highway 93 signs just south oh, of I see the main road. Oh, I see it Okay, it's tiny. Yeah, you kind of have to zoom in to see it. Yeah, 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 I see it now. Okay. All right, so if that's, that's just something I'm going to store in memory for when this boat comes into play. Assuming it's not just a cover story by the FBI. <laughs> All right, anything else? That's it's the only other thing I could think of. All right. Um, I do we have money if we're going to be getting on buses and stuff? I mean, I would say we probably. I mean, I have rich parents. I probably have money. Okay. Yeah, I mean, he's a high. And we player. know we know how Isabella gets her money, don't we? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, the rest I could I could sell some cigarettes. That there you right. go. We'll be right. But you only have one. You always oh, only have I one, only, right? yeah, yeah. Hey, but you got an extra cigarette? <laughs> no, nah, man, sorry, I only got it's one. my last one. My, my last one, one, bro. It's always your last one. <laughs> Anyways. It is, No, that's always. just what I'm wondering for when, because I think we could bike to the park fairly easily. I just wanted a backup plan in case the, yeah. Yeah. In case the boat became a factor. Yeah. Um, Again, assuming that's not a cover story by the FBI. All right. Which it is. So the rest the of the day goes... The rest of the day goes pretty much without a hitch. School is school, uh, life is life, and the rest of the day goes on. The last bell rings. You all have made a plan to meet up after school, uh, and what would you like to do? Would you, you can go to Pele's house. You've got the boat. You've got the park. Hey, uh, I think I tell. Okay, so. Hmm. Turns out Pele's parents had a boat, like a big boat, out on Lake Mead. Huh. So maybe when the giant robot showed up, they all, Pele and his parents or something, maybe they, I don't know, they found a secret tunnel or they ran home, Pele ran home or something, and they went and they got on the boat to like go to yeah. Arizona or something. They sailed off on their because that's giant so far sailboat away. that Pele was a big dick about and bragged about having. So... And they sailed away to, I don't know, go to the FBI or something, go get away from the giant robot? To Arizona to hide from the robot because I mean, it's so far exactly. away. There's a giant robot. Could, yeah, if anybody could get you to, you know, if they could, if anybody could protect you from a giant robot, it'd be the FBI. But... And they use the boat to get to the FBI. Or they're just hiding on the boat waiting for the FBI. Well... Or maybe the boat the is FBI. actually just a motor transformer. I don't know. What if what if Pele's parents went home, and they were looking for him after the robot tri tried to attack? Maybe they would take us to the boat if we asked. Maybe that's Pele's... probably where Pele is. Well, if that's not the case, then we go to Pele's house, and if nobody's home, then we can just go into Pele's house and find clues as to where they went. Maybe they left something behind from the FBI. <sighs> Yeah, that's a good. That's a good thought. I don't know. Maybe they might. The they might have like a secret code. flashlights. <gasps> maybe they yeah. have flashlights. I know where my parents keep their flashlights. It's probably in the same place, but in Pele's house. Yeah, because all adults think the same way. That yeah, this is so boring. Boring. Robots. Oh, that's quite a deep comment. The I adults to the robots. It's interesting. I've got a robot focus on my mind right now. Okay, let's let's go to Pele's house, see if we can figure out some clues. Because it's going to be biking like all night to get us to the lake. Yeah. Let's go. 
We'd have a better chance if his parents would just drive us. Well, Maybe if his parents we, were there and there we can take the car. Time. We'll steal a car. And then... <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's drive. steal a car. That's a great idea. Let's do it. No Sounds like fun, right, right Isabella? This is life or death. Oh my for God. the plan, I think for the planet. I know, I point. get that. <laughs> but have any of us driven a car outside of an arcade? It can't be that it's hard. It's the same thing. I mean, I've watched my parents do it all the time. Yeah, for like ten years, you've watched them drive. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's all right. Beautiful. So y'all are gonna head to Paley's house, right? Yes. Is that yep. what you're Seems doing? Seems like okay. the plan. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Let's go. I have my my eight, potentially ten force if we need to get to a door. All right. <laughs> so many dice. <laughs> all right. So uh, as you get up to Pele's house, um, you all have seen where he lives. It's. Um, do I have that? But you've never been in his house. Uh, but you have. Yeah, because he's weird. Yeah, because he's weird, right? And he's not weird. He's our friend, and we're gonna save him. No, he acts pretty he's weird. Not weird. He's just new. Everybody I mean, thinks the new guy's look. weird. He's not weird. He's in the FBI, Freddy. You don't get into the <laughs> FBI unless you're really cool. Really cool and really weird are two separate things. So, um, as you get up to his house. There's no car in the driveway. It is a strangely shaped uh, three-story wooden house. It's Holy wide crap. on the bottom, and then it tapers up very narrow in the middle, and then it looks like somebody put a, a trailer on top of it. It's long and skinny on top, just as wide at the top as it is at the bottom, but it's skinny in the middle and flat on the back. Does that make sense? So it's almost like an H turn on side. Uh, kind of, yeah. That is the weirdest house I've ever seen. It is a weird looking house. Um, there is a giant, and I mean giant cable, probably this big around that runs from a telephone pole into the side of the house. There are antennas all over the house, satellite dishes. Um, it's FBI. It's a lot. Um, More like a moon base. Yeah, yeah, it's kind of like a FBI. Movie. See this? See no, you right. see that top part of it has rocks that go up to the moon. No, they are watching us and keeping us safe. And then the robots came and said, "Stop it!" And then they killed Miss. Yeah, they said, "Stop Jones. it!" With their giant robot guns. Exactly. And we have to stop them. Yeah, that's a picture of the house. Uh, I put in the Discord for you. Um, yeah, that is a. Oh, that's so cool. Right? Yeah. The handouts for this are great. and um, But the car is not there. Part of the... Uh, I wish I could show them but on no the... no car. Yeah, no but car. no car. Uh, that's beaut. Okay. Let's see. Well, if the door's locked, we could at least, like, climb up to the second floor on that roof and open a window. Well, uh, I think we have to go in. I, I, I have to. Well, no, know we have to go in, but it, like okay. the front door could be trapped or something. They could have like uh, secret FBI traps or something. Why don't you run into it head first? I mean, and you're so strong. Open the door with your strong head. Well, you could open it and then use your hockey stick to set off any traps. There you That's go. Good. I was able to Stick drag it, it over first. and show it to the to the chat world. So there you go. That is okay. Well, no. Why don't we go through like the second floor or something so we don't. We go into the house and we can turn the traps off from the inside instead of me setting off, me getting like every cop in town here and the FBI. But the FBI. But I mean, we're. We're, we're, we're supposed to be the smart one. Why, why am we're I the, the FBI now? We're the FBI because the FBI's gone and we're protecting them. So get into the house. All right, I'm just. Is the door locked? Yes, the door is locked. Okay, do either of you two know how to pick a lock? Oh. Probably. I'm FBI. I am the protector of the FBI. Okay, I wish I knew how to pick a what? lock. I can pick, pick a lock. I can, you guys I can, can, um, you can, can pick a lock. investigate or tinker. Um, Wait, I actually have tinker. Yeah, I do too. You would use tinker I... or to... Because uh, to, to... if we break the door open, we're going to... Because if we just 
Oh, break I the door open, I, and I if could there's do... an alarm, there's going to be every cop in the city here. There's going to be every cop in Boulder City here, and we're all going to get thrown in jail. And then Ooh. we just say that we are protecting the FBI, and then they'll Wait, give us the Wait, you just said they don't throw anything. I've got seven dice if I want to I... investigate. I did a tinker, and I've got three successes. Oh, okay. That's good. So while we're arguing, she just opens the door. Yeah, nice. she, um, Isabella is really good at tinkering and unlocks the door and goes, hey guys, the door's unlocked now. Um, Great. Top detective work. Yeah, definitely. Meanwhile, Possibly like a bright future. When we write this up for the school paper, they'll let's... have to hire me. For sure. Yeah. I know what I'm doing when I graduate from high school. I'm going to be an FBI agent when I grow up. All right, let's what's, go. What's in there? Is the, the, the flashlights there? Yeah, like, is it is there, is there trip wires of a shotgun aimed at the door? No, there's there's not. But when you do, when you open the door, you see on the far wall, a red light comes on and starts flashing. Crap, there's a bomb. It's just a red light. It's like a red light bulb that's just... There's no noise. It's just FBI. a red light. It's a, it is a bomb. It's probably a bomb. And as you look around, you see up up the stairs, red light glowing from upstairs as well. All right, we're going to have to get in and out of here. What the hell? Bombs? You know, let's throw. <clears throat> um, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm going to get a... I want to get a big rock, and I'm going to throw it into the house, up the stairs. And when you do, uh, you're going to hit the... Like, aim it at the window. No, like go just like go up the stairs to where the redness is. Oh, you know? so you have a big rock and okay. Yeah. Um, as you start going up, uh, a little like butterfly uh, flies past you and hovers right in front of you for a minute, and all of a sudden you see it's wings uh, underneath its wings kind of open up as you're reaching out for it and you look and you see there are little like look like tiny little missiles inside this butterfly um wait do i see this are you right behind her on the stairs i would imagine i am yeah if you're all going up the stairs you all see this together all right i attack the killer butterfly all right uh you can swing at it with your hockey stick with force it's force 10 let's go I want to back. I'm backing up. <laughs> I'm backing up. You're gonna you can die. roll a move. Oh, I got two successes on yeah. that. Yeah. I'm scared I, for a second. I want to move, okay? So Body, you move. I only get one. And Isabel, you see. That's a success. Uh, all right. You're able. You you can move out of the way right as he swings his hockey stick with expert precision and smashes this thing. And it, it hits the wall and slides down. And as you look at it, it's definitely robotic in nature uh, it's a it's all mechanical um, I did the thing I came here to do which is roll dice and hit something with a hockey stick so they had a, a giant robot that's oh, a tiny, they have robot. A tiny, tiny, tiny robot. robots they have with killer missiles robots. Is they can is... change sizes oh. do the missiles change sizes? I don't know. That's scary to think about, though. Yeah, I know. I just... So does it... Does the giant one have tiny missiles? Or... The giant is, okay, is, is the giant one the caterpillar form? And then it goes to the boat. <laughs> and then goes into its chrysalis. And then... Emerges as the butterfly with the tiny missiles. Can I? Can I? Can I look at it? Or it'd be like a whole bunch of giant butterflies. There's a whole bunch of tiny butterflies if they're all that size. Yeah, you can oh. investigate it. Sure. Yeah. It's okay. One, right. two, three, three. Yeah, three. I don't have that skill. I do. Um, I want to see, uh, like, how dangerous is this little robot? Like, what's its function? What's its purpose? Not that dangerous because I just deleted it. Uh, I got no success. Cause not, someone else wanted. Oh, I don't know what this is. <laughs> um, I mean, I'll take Isabella, a crack at it. Sure. You're smart, Isabella. No, you try. You try no, no, she can take a crack at it. Okay. Can I use like a a program skill, seeing as I know that it's a. Um, 
or you'd have to have a uh, computer to interface with it okay. to use program with what's okay. left of it yeah with what's left of it I think that I need a computer you guys because if I have a computer then I can interface with this thing and figure out what it knows can I attempt the investigate check mm-hmm all right I'll just do that I have three mind yeah I have three mind I wanted to do that yeah yeah I succeeded yay so the you can tell that these little the darts shoot out and they have these barbs in them and there's a small vial of liquid um I assume the liquid is shattered uh no the vials the vials are actually intact oh wow guys this thing was gonna poison and kill us all <gasps> oh. yeah it's a it's a murky green like liquid can I, come can I get it without hurting myself um probably just kind of use the hockey stick and kind of like try to break and kind of yeah. move the little dart in a way and then pick it up yeah you could do that holy shit it's like killer butterfly poison or something I want can I have one don't smoke it. <laughs> <Sure>. <laughs> don't smoke it. All right. Um, while y'all are dealing with the butterfly thing, Isabel, what are you doing? Um, I'm going to wander off. And I'm going to start looking through these rooms. Upstairs? Uh, Yeah, I'm going to go upstairs. Because right. I'm, I'm specifically looking for Pele's room. All right. Um, when you get to the second floor, there's only one bedroom. There's one door on the second floor, and it's just a doorway. There's actually no door on it. And there's a strange bed. It's, uh, looks like something you would have seen in a, in a comic book or in a movie for, uh, charging up a robot. It's this cylind- half cylindrical station and it has these belts on it, and there's plugs and wires all over it. All right. Um, I want to take a closer look at this thing. Okay. To Go see ahead. if I can uh, determine what sort of a robot it is supposed to charge. So it's connected to a computer? Yes. Yes, I will look at the computer. Uh, so you can use a... Um, there is a security system on it it's password protected and you can use a program to get on the computer you guys when you're done down on the stairs with the butterfly you hear the keyboard clacking upstairs you look around and isabel is gone yeah is there anything else of note downstairs that would catch my eye nope not not really i'm heading up how many of those little dark things do we get uh there are four two under each wing one you want to take two? I'll take two. Yeah. Yeah, it works for me. Alright. Yeah. Maybe I'll maybe we'll get a blow gun or something. Isab- we'll get, like, Isabella doesn't guns. she doesn't need them. Well maybe we can get one of those like blow darts or something and just like spit it through. Alright. Yeah. Um Yes, I have that. Okay. You are able to succeed. It's actually for smart people, a fairly simple password. Uh, you actually do succeed and hack into the system. It's password um, one two three. It's the nineteen eighties, right? Yeah, it's nineteen eighties. It was <laughs> only like four character requirements. Change so. me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> admin, admin. Some of those still work. <laughs> Believe it or not. Uh, where's handout one in my notes? Where is it? Header handout one. There it is. Um, and this is what pops up on the Oh, it's a Commodore. Yep, it's it's a Commodore 64 and open file. Stop. Okay. The injured to system or other life form estimated to be 98.76. Trauma to by electrical nerve processor. Cognitive overload is imminent. All systems in danger. Burnout estimated within 48 hours. Hmm. Guys, I have a, I have a 
have a strange thought. Um, is Paleo a giant robot? I'm thinking Paleo was a robot. I don't think he was a giant robot. I think he was a rogue robot from the FBI, and the giant robot was sent to get him. But I think he's a robot. That's got to be what this is. This has to be his charging station. No wonder he never showered with the rest of us. Yeah. What? But there's something wrong with him. Yeah, the hockey team. Yeah, we all... It's more Danger to system the or somehow. other life form estimated to be 98.76%. Are they saying they thought he was a danger? Okay, so he went crazy. Like, something in his robot brain broke. I don't know, maybe we, like, hit him... I don't, I don't know, maybe he got, like, too many... Wit, like, I don't know, maybe somebody gave him a swirly or something in the bathroom. And, and his robot brain went crazy. What's a yeah. swirly? It's when you dunk someone's head in the toilet. Oh, that's mean. Yes. <laughs> you think bullies do. Is that something that you've done, Freddy? No. I mean, there's a few people I've wanted to do it too, but no. Okay, Freddy, you're so kind. I okay, so something in his robot brain broke. And now his robot brain's, <laughs> like, totally gonna understand. explode or something. So his parents took him but then they wouldn't be his parents would they they'd be like programmers or something or as like fbi i mean FBI i don't know FBI you programmers? Think parents. can robots have sex oh my Baby? god oh, i don't even want to think about that that's so gross Ew. they have to make the new one somehow they just build them with wrenches and screwdrivers. They don't I think Isabella's do the... right. That's gross. Only adults do that. Robots don't do that. Only adults. No, I don't know. I... Um, while y'all are in the room, one of the things you notice is there's a, a drawing, crayon drawing, that's on the wall in Pele's room of the loop's cooling towers off in the distance. And then you look around, there's more of these drawings. All over his room, as you look around, there are these drawings from different angles and different distances. Um, he really likes the loop, this new kid. Maybe. What if that's where he went? What? The loop? Like, I don't know. I mean, I guess there's so, tons of weird shit in there, so... Yeah, but if he liked it, I mean, if I was going to draw a lot of pictures of something and then I was going to go somewhere, I'd go where I drew the pictures of. Yeah, me too. Wait, didn't Paley go say to the moon. somebody was after him? Yeah, and then there was a giant robot that... that I was after him. That was he, after well, him. What, what and the he said... From the loop? He said after them, and he means his family... We have to save him. I don't think he's the... His family are people. And he's a person. He's really good at poetry in the book club. Robots don't do poetry. I mean, he sucks at hockey, but robots don't suck at things. I think they might not be good at hockey. <laughs> Wait. I don't know what, he, I don't know what Pelly's I'm talking, talking again. About so either I don't know well he didn't go on. well Paley didn't want to be like turned off or something like they tried to like turn him off right because you can just he's a robot you can just like flip a switch or something and then he, he stops being Pele and they stopped that and now he's on the run or something I don't know I think that makes sense he didn't want them to push the button that turns all the bad robots off Oh, my, I, I think my daddy told the me there's a button. Him off. Well, why don't we turn him off? I'm gonna press well, the button. Apparently, we can't. I'm because try and press it. Can I tinker with it? Yeah, sure. With what are you tinkering with the computer? Yeah. This is one I of can... the uh, pictures that you see. Although it's crayon drawing, it's not so fantastically arted. Um, Gosh, very phallic. Um, okay. <laughs> Interesting in itself. What does that say? Um, poor Pele. Uh, 
Have we have we been to this loop? Have we been here? We would recognize well, Y'all are that. very familiar with the area yeah, and the loop. We would know yeah, all that, I mean, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um mm. so I would like to just press some keys and see if we can get it rebooted or working again or something. So uh, you can tinker or program with this. Um, Both the same for me. So no. All right. Um, or if someone wants to, actually, you you got snacks, but you didn't get anything to drink. So um, that's true. Thank you. One of you wants to want to go downstairs to the kitchen and perhaps grab a drink well uh, I'll do it because I couldn't think her I'm gonna run down I was gonna say Fred could do it because he's op- he operates on his stomach well, then. I mean I'll do it that's fine um, and when you when you get down there um, you noticed uh, the light that was flashing now has stopped when you come out of Pele's room. All the lights have turned off. The red flashing lights have stopped. Um, you get down to the kitchen and you open the refrigerator and there's juice and milk and whatever you want. You get what you want to drink. And uh, As you turn around to put it on the table to get glasses out, there is a note. Uh, oh. a, a, a handwritten letter. The um, stomach has led me to the correct thing. Which is handout number two. Cool. I get to read things. So let me add that. Also get to steal from Pele's fridge. Yeah. That's good. <clears throat> and if you want to if you want to read it out loud, you can. Uh, that's fine. Okay. If not, I'll read it. it. I don't want to force you to read something if you don't want to read out loud. Come on. Discord. Work, please. Yeah, it was doing that to me just a minute ago, too. I think there's... It's been doing that to me, I think, ever since Windows Tom created. Dear sister! With an exclamation point. Which means it's very urgent. You've come back up to us, have you? I think I'm reading this on the way back up, and I have, like... I don't know, like a soda can or something on the other hand. Um, And... Or maybe I'm like, I have the, uh, or like a bottle of juice or something like slung under my arm with a hockey stick. Then, as I was going back to reading, write to you in trembling hands with the knowledge that all that really matters to me, my little boy, could have been taken away from me just a couple of minutes ago. I saw it through the window how Pele ran over by, the, by a car, and you know who was driving it. Before I could run out from the house, Pele was up on his feet, and they talked to each other, and he came in. I was frozen to my chair and still can't feel my feet and hands, but my head was full of images of what could have happened. Dear sister, they are gruesome pictures. The strangest thing is that Pele won't admit what ha- that it happened. I saw it with my own eyes. Should I seek help? I know he won't agree to have his head examined. He became very upset when I asked him to look at it. Everything was so fine right now, and maybe that makes, makes me overreact. The more he is... The more... The move here has become everything we could have hoped for. Pelle has made friends at school. That's debatable. And <laughs> I'm his friend. And he is doing well with homework and sports. I mean, that second part's also debatable. Uh, I just don't want to want to think about what we will do in a couple of years when we have to move away again. I hope we can go somewhere close, close to here so that we can still see you. How are your projects going? I hate thinking of you in that smelly little bunker on Goleman. Well, it's OB Cape Horn because it's Horn. the US version. Oh, Cape Horn. Yeah. Cape Horn was an orange. The bunker on Cape Horn. You know you can always stay here, but I wasn't... But I won't nag about it anymore. Pele is doing something upstairs. He talks to himself and it, as if he's upset and he throws things on the floor. I better see if he's okay. So Pele ran. Oh, uh, and I think I probably like Okay, so guys, so Pele, oh, damn it, okay, so, so Pele got hit on the head, probably by my dad's drunk, probably by my dad drunk driving, because he's a fucking idiot, 
He probably then Pele's head's robot head broke, and now there's now he doesn't want to get his robot head fixed. And then he went crazy, and then Pele's dad or mom or something tried to get it fixed, and now Pele freaked out. And okay. What if they sent a? What if it was actually his parents and sent the giant robot out to get him? Because if they thought he needed to be fixed and he wouldn't get fixed, then maybe they sent a robot to, to get him to bring him back. No, I think he. What? Like, Pe why, they, why they would Pe Pele, if he was a robot, how would he become huge? Giant robot. You know? Like, oh he would. If he was always a robot and then he was sick. He would tear his skin off, wouldn't he? He'd just tear it all off. Well, it sounds get like real that's... angry. It's not, it sounds he'd... like that was what he was doing. And he punched the school, wouldn't he? But he, he's not giant. He's not giant. He's I mean, normal. He's going to be super strong. They have like metal fists and everything. Yeah, but they said it was a giant robot, and he would be robot. an average robot. No, look, if he this was a robot. Pele's mom or dad had a sister. So I guess Pele has an aunt who's in Cape Horn who probably knew what was going on. Sent the giant robot after Pele because Pele's head broke and now Pele's going crazy because my drunk dad hit him with a fucking car. Your dad is a menace to society. Yes! He's <laughs> my daddy says I shouldn't hang out with you anymore, Freddy. And I always tell him that you're really nice. But, but that kind of thing doesn't help. You should tell your daddy to stop drinking. I mean, I try, and he doesn't listen to me. Those typical adults that don't ever listen to us. So yeah, dumb. There's nothing wrong with that guy. All right. So I think we need to go to Cape Horn. Yes. Because that's where wh whoever this note was written to is in Cape Horn in a bunker. We've got to go to the bunker so we can figure out where the giant robot is and where Pele is, and then go find Pele. Or, or we could just go to the woods on the way and then go try to find Pele there. I think that maybe we go to the woods. I don't even know where Cape Horn is. Um, if you look on the map, um, see where the Colorado River Wait. comes out of Lake Mead into the Hoover Dam? Oh, I see it now. Cape yeah. Horn is right there. Oh, yeah. Uh, okay, and we are... Where are we to that then? So we're... You're still in Boulder City. At Paley's house. Proper. Uh, let's see, Paley's house is marked on the map somewhere. Oh yes. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, cool. Um, You'd have to go all the way up ninety three to get there, and then some. Mm -hmm. Past the marina. You must be able to drive, Freddie. You're so strong and so cool and so popular. I'm sure you can drive. I'm sure we could, we could find. Exactly. It's no, in your anything. jeans. But we don't have a car. Well, your dad doesn't need his. He's just going to hit more kids with it. Let's take yeah, your dad's that's true. car. That's okay. true. That's so what the FBI would do. do. So do we want to search the woods? Or do we not want to search the woods? Let's, I let's want to go to the woods first. What's in the woods, though? The giant robot. Well, that's where he went last. That was the last place he was seen. Maybe there's a clue there. If there isn't, then we can we can get Freddy's dad's car, and then we can drive to Cape Horn. Okay. I guess. All right. So what you so you still have the upper level, or are you gonna leave? Oh yeah, I guess we should check the upper level. Oh God, there's more. Let's go. Yeah, because it's a three-story house, so. Yeah. I'm gonna yeah, run there's out. a whole third floor of stuff I can break. I'm, I'm that's a crazy, that's a crazy floor. You gotta let dog oh, out. What? Uh, say? No, oh yeah, I have three. I'm hanging bound. I'm hanging back a bit while they go up to the third floor. Oh. oh okay, you're gonna hang back a bit. Okay. Um, you two go up to the third floor, and it looks like it's Pele's parents' room. Um, and this is where we find the FBI stuff. There's no television in the room, but there's this thing that looks like a TV remote, but it has extra buttons on it and a really long squiggly antenna. Um, okay. I'm really tempted just to start pushing buttons at random. 
Do it. I'm going to start pushing buttons and figure out how this thing works. Is that a tinker? What does this button do? It. Um, it. Yeah, it... Uh, there's a little, like, digital readout on the bottom. Um, and it says enter passcode. Crap. So you'd have to tinker it or program it. Actually, it's the same for me. I'll yeah. give it a shot. Well, what, let's see it explode on these chills. Like, just blow up and. What does it do? Don't know. Why am I rolling dice to. Uh... Oh, I got two successes. Two successes. I'm on you, fire today. You figure it out. You, uh, It's unlocked. It says unlocked. Enter command. Um, Tell the it. craziest Pe TV remote I've ever seen in my life. Say, find Pele. Destroy giant robot. Is there a is there a find or destroy button on this thing? Um, are, none are of the, the buttons, buttons are labeled. Nope, none of the buttons are labeled. Ah, that's um, not good. Okay, press the middle one. Okay, I push. Start pushing buttons and see what happens. Um, so at each button that you you push. Uh, lights up a little different series of words at the bottom. Um, one's move, stop, go, um, turn left, turn right, walk backwards, walk forwards, uh, shut down, sleep. Um, you know, hit shut down. Uh, it, it says shut down and nothing happens. There's nothing around you. Nothing, nothing happens around you. All right, we're okay. keeping a hold of this thing. Um, if you you hang on to it, and I'm, I'm not just getting rid of it, it seems very useful for something I don't know about. Yes, whenever we see the big robot, we can turn it off. Put it in your backpack or something. Yeah, okay. All right. Um. Probably the control for the giant robots or Pele. Yeah, exactly. It's, well, if it's for Pele, then you wouldn't run away. It's probably the giant robot. It's the giant robot ro remote. Isabella, we what are you hunting for in the Pele's bedroom? I am. Uh, first, I'm going to take one of the drawings off of the wall and I'm going to fold it up and I'm going to kiss it and then I'm going to stick it in my pocket. Nice. Okay, nice. Um, and then I am going to... Uh, okay, so what else was in this room? Just the like, uh, charging station on the computer? And typical toys and stuff. Kid stuff that you would find. It and looks like... 64. It looks like, other than the computer connected to the charging station, everything else in here is a normal kid room. Um, so if I look around, do I see anything else that stands out to me? In Pele's room. Let me just double check. And make sure there's nothing else in Pele's room. Um, the picture of the family on the boat. Uh, his hand-drawn picture of that is, is there as well. Um, so there's one picture of that and then the picture of uh, the cooling towers and then there's a picture of uh, the whole family so you have Pele, mom, dad and then another person and they're standing in a field um, just in a meadow and it's another woman and if you look at everything's labeled it says me, mom, dad Aunt Greta. Greta. Oh, sorry, I'm, I'm not even there. <laughs> That's just a cool name. Greta! <laughs> just shout from downstairs. That must be. My new giant robot controlling TV remote that I gave to Linda. So that's Linda's giant robot controlling TV remote. Because chicks um, dig giant robots. Anyway. <laughs> um, Mega XLR reference. So. Okay, I'm glad I didn't get it. <laughs> like, I've heard show, I've never seen it. Uh, yeah, I think I'm just going to go ahead and leave the room and, and head back up to where they're at. Is there anything else in the parents' bedroom? Not really. Not of interest. 
mostly adult stuff. The boring. Yeah. Okay, well, we have a giant robot. Any, like, oil? Yeah, I don't mean, like, in a... I just mean, like, are they robots? Robot oil? Like, no. Like, WD-40 or whatever. I don't know. Like, in the... That's, like, having a... So. No. Find a bottle that says lube. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, maybe that's to... You put a little on your hand. You that's rub cool. your hands together, and it starts getting warm. <laughs> oh. I don't that's how robots know what that keep warm. Okay. That, Weird. Nope. <laughs> You could bring it to the woods. In case it Freddy. gets cold. Oh, fire. In case Freddy. it gets cold. Yeah, Freddy. Linda could take it to the woods for you. Not for Freddy. It's for Freddy me. doesn't understand what that is, and I'm pretty sure Ben doesn't either. So. Oh boy. All right. Moving along. Um, yes, <laughs> we won't get into what's in the closet. Then we're moving along out. Yeah. No. 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 Um. <laughs> Uh, as you start heading downstairs, you hear a car door close outside. Shit. Um, and you hear a voice on a radio. Uh, Unit 27, we're 10 6 at the uh, disturbance alarm call. Crap, there was Disturbance alarm call. Oh my god. Okay. I want to find somewhere to hide. Real quick. All right. I don't have a better idea. Unless you think we can, like, sneak out the window and steal their car. Let's see. (gasps) That's such a good idea. Yes. Um, You, Freddy, you remember there's a back door that leads out of the kitchen. But we're on the third floor, right? You're coming down the stairs. You're on this kind of at Pele's bedroom level. Crap. Okay. The police will understand later. History... We'll absolve us. Alright, we need to get out of here. Okay. I'll follow you, Freddy. If we go down the front wait, hang on. If we go out the front door. Here, let me um let me The do police this. will be there. Yeah, if we go out the front even if we go out the window though. If we go out the front window, the police will see us. You've explored out, the whole house, so there's you a map of the house. Silos okay, on. okay, okay. We drop out of the window onto the silos. Silos are like so we'll climb down the silos? Yeah. Oh, I forgot. I mean, I can do that. Really I don't cool think you can do this. Oh, well. Save it for the next group. Who might be watching? I'll save the, the real... There was a really cool descriptive part of the house that I totally missed. No! Totally, I'm sorry. And it has to do with the really? silos. That's So when you said oh. silos, I was like, oh, crap. I'm Not right. the silos! Um... Okay, oh, well, the... jump on the silo. You, you go first. How tall are the silos? No, it doesn't matter. Oh, um, we, we, don't, we don't have much time. They are about 10 feet tall, and if you look at the house, you can see them. They're outside. You can see yeah, the yeah. distance from... That is going to make all of the noise. It's a pretty good drop. That's probably a move roll or something? Uh, yeah, it would be a move. Just, just uh, this is gonna call. This is gonna make all of the noise. But I have eight move. What are you so gonna? Uh, gonna do it. You gonna do jump out it. the window? Do I'm it. gonna jump out the window and just try to make this as stable landing as I could. And uh, that fell out. Nice. Okay, I got one success. Just one. To, okay. To, yeah, that's yep. that's what we got. You are able to uh, you climb out the window and you hang from the window and you drop down on top of the the tin roof uh, and it makes a little clanging noise as you hit it and uh, the police are right at the front door about to about to go in. Crap! It does not. They did not hear you. I don't know how that happened, but okay. Uh, don't look gift horses in the mouth. That's the uh, dice. The dice don't gonna, lie. Okay, I, so I, I did that, and somehow that did not distract anything. I'm gonna go. I guess I can just go and hide by the silo. Hide behind the silos. Okay. 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 I. I. I'm gonna. I'm gonna call down to you. Okay. Ready. Ready. 
set the silos on fire. <laughs> and I'm gonna throw. <laughs> I'm gonna throw my lighter die on fire. Okay. Can I get in? Can I open the silo? Uh, yeah. There's a there's a, a door on the side of the silo. Sure. All right. So I open up the silo. What's what's in the silos? What's in the silo is. Be green. Um, Probably a giant robot. No. <laughs> the silos contain um, sacks and and boxes of very odd looking food. It looks like reptile food. Um, it's just stacks and stacks of it. Different sizes. Um, there are some empty aquariums in here as well. Um, and Please tell me the reptile food is flammable. It's possible. The boxes are the the bags and the paper bags and the boxes and stuff are. Yeah, if um, I can get a little bit, I guess I'll hastily assemble some kindling and attempt to start a fire. All right. You, you can do that with a tinker. Let's go back upstairs. What are you two doing while he's doing that upstairs? He's, he's putting, he's doing a fire. And then whenever the fire happens, we run out the front door. You can um, tinker the car. And then we get in the getaway car and we go. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Let's yeah. do it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm excited. So y'all are y'all are waiting for the fire to break out. Um, and okay. About, about that time, uh, something brushes up against your leg. Something very Ooh. big. Um, it's soft. No, it's uh. soft and fleshy. And you look down, and there is a six foot iguana walking up the stairs, and it just leans against your leg and rubs against you, and uh, it is a gigantic lizard that is just meandering up the stairs like nobody's business. Is that a normal American thing? Yeah, no, people no. have pet iguanas, but they usually don't get that large. Okay. <laughs> no, Americans, it. look, not everything is bigger in America. Okay? That's what I'm... That's what I'm Only okay. in Texas. Um, and we're, we're upstairs. We're on the top floor. The police are at the they are, They are open in the front door. Okay, they're open in the front door. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay. I wish you had Mr. Ten Force now. I'm gonna... I'm gonna take the bottle of lube. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I would like to take the bottle of lube, and I would like to hurl it. Um, I kind of want it to go out the window and over them. So I kind of want to, basically, I want to distract them for a moment whilst Isabel and I get a better position. So okay, that we can so you're going to kind of throw it out that top window down at the front. Yeah. Door. I see what yeah. you're doing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'll, uh, you're going to slime them with some lube. Yeah, sure. Okay. I, I will open it up. We're so that... burn these cops to death and it's going to be awful. <laughs> Y'all are the worst kids ever. I love it. I'm just doing what I'm told here. Desperate times. Just trying to save my friend. Pele is in trouble. The FBI is relying on us. Oh, boy. Um, Heard of these cops and it's just... Uh. You, let's see. Right. That's going to be... Oh, I closed the wrong thing. Dang it. Um, yeah, I already rolled that tinker check when you're ready. All right, Isabel, what are you doing while Literally she's... Uh, what, what should I be throwing? A move? Force? What is uh, that? I think it's going to be a force, I think. Force, okay. Uh, so it's body. I only get one bloody dice for it. That's so dumb that I'm going to do this. Okay. Eight force. <laughs> this is the old... Why are we all doing the things we're not good at? Yeah, I didn't win. <laughs> I mean, you can luck point it if you want. Um, you could luck yeah. it or... Um, what does luck mean? You can re-roll. You, you have a, a certain number of luck points. You have you uh, to re-roll. How many luck points do you have? Linda has... Uh, I have one left. I had started with two. 
Well, the, okay. Two. So th- this is my this is my question to the GM. Um, I attempted to hurl a bottle of lube out of a window and failed. Well, ha- you failed am to hit I your able- target. You failed to hit yeah. your target, right? Exactly. So there's still an effect that happens. That's so, what I'm wondering. Um, like, I don't think I can just retry and throw it. I nope, assume it's the my bottle's wacky- gone. Yeah. Um, it, it hits the tin roof outside in kind of slow motion. You watch it just kind of roll down and the lube just starts drizzling out of the front of the bottle all across the tin roof and it shoots off. You, you ever drop like a, a ball or something on a roof and watch it roll off? So it rolls off and lands in the dirt behind the, the police and uh, some of the lube drips off the roof onto the onto the ground. Behind. I thought you were going to say it was going to go into the silo. <laughs> we have a real problem. Um, that's water-based lube. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> um, so, great. Um, um, let's see something. Ah, the uh, We're going to die in here. We're going to die in here. Or arm yourself with the iguana. <laughs> arm yourself with the iguana. <laughs> clip that. Diamond to clip that. <laughs> Arm yourself with the iguana. That is the quote of the night right there, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> That's for times. That's for um, times. Isabel, what are you doing? Are you going to arm yourself with the iguana? I don't know. I think better know. with like, that than I think, I, I mean, okay. Yeah. I'm going to pick the iguana up if it will let me. Oh, it totally will let you pick it up. In fact, it will help you. It will crawl up you and get in your arms. It seems very friendly. It's kind of heavy, but it's very friendly. And I'm just going to burn all of its food. Yep. So, is it heavier than it seems like it should be? Nope. No, yeah. it's fleshy and heavy. It feels it's the weight of a good-sized cat. Maybe maybe a, a medium-sized dog. Okay. Um, all right, okay, what's your... Uh, we'll save you. We'll all make right. sure the police don't get you, Iguana. It's fine. So, uh, this iguana is is abused. It's been used for experimentation, and <laughs> they use it to make just more robots. Freddie, what's fire your what's your fire? What the Go hell's ahead. Going on? What'd you tinker? What was your tinker roll? I got two two successes. Bloody successes. All right. Nice. My nice. dice are on fire tonight. Oh. Nice. You uh you I find have... a can of um of uh some kind of liquid and it's labeled flammable uh, in the silo. Uh, I'm just going to dump it on everything. Yep. And, and strike a match and watch it burn, right? Well, I have, I have uh, Linda's lighter. Okay, so you have the lighter. So I'm just going to probably torch a piece of paper and just throw it and start and bolt out of there. All right, so you yes. throw it and then uh, roll a move to get out of there to That's avoid the explosion. Eight dice. <clears throat> Which is... I got one. All right, that's that's enough. You run far enough away, and the top you blows run. off the silo, and a and a it mushroom fires. cloud fireball goes up, almost like a rocket taking off. And you all hear this sh- uh, shaking explosion. The glass shatters out of the house. All the windows. Holy shit! Holy shit! Um, and the cops go running, and you hear them. We've had an explosion. We've had an explosion. Send a fire. Send a fire. Um, Out of here. And let's they go, run. Let's go, let's they go. jump in their car and, fa- and start backing Fuck. their car up. Oh, oh, they got in the car. Damn it. But at least now we can get away. Let's hurry That's up. Let's That's go. probably. Okay, it's probably for the best. Yeah, yeah. Uh, good. Uh, hi, let's run out the back door. Okay, but look. We're going to. We have to. Oh, we have to bring the iguanas. Yeah. Yeah, he has to. The iguana has to come. Or we have to get the fire out. You don't Meanwhile, have I'm much time. Um, okay. Well, I'm just gonna take the iguana. I'm holding him. I'm gonna go, well, we gotta go. We gotta go. And I'm gonna okay. run out the back door. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. All right. You all run out the back door. And um, where are you gonna head? Well, I think I'm gonna wave the. I think I take cover and wait for the cops to leave, and then. Yeah. Well, the, and yeah. Wait, wait for the girls to come out, and then I'm just like, "Come on, let's, let's get the hell out of here." Where, where to? Let's go Anywhere to else. the woods. We said the woods, right? Yeah, let's go to the woods. The woods will work. Yeah, sure. Let's do that. Let's 
Anything but the crime scene. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. yeah. All right. right. So, um... The police don't like it when you set things on fire. No shit! <laughs> did, you, did you save my lighter? Did you save my lighter? <laughs> <laughs> I pull it out. But like, it's hard really, to get those. I should have left this in here. I take a good picture. I think, I think he's seen something, and I take the iguana, and I hold it out, and he's like... So it's looking at the two of you. I think he's seen something. He might know something. I th I think the I've iguana. just seen something. It's a giant iguana. Yeah. He might okay. have information. Oh, I think I just burned all of its food. Oh. Got, the iguana's got information. I think he well, he doesn't have any food. We can't bribe him with that. Hey, and I'm going to turn him around and I'm going to like... blew it all up. In his face. Hey, do you know where we're supposed to go? Why are you talking to... He Please tell me you have Iguana speaking as a talent. He might have information we have to ask. What if he's <laughs> yeah. a machine too? I don't think he, he is. He does feels he like Iguana. speak English? We could feed it the poison and see what happens. No! <laughs> we don't know if it's poison! We don't know. First we're gonna blow up a silo, then we're gonna poison like, a giant Iguana. What? I like him. I, Linda I like is, him. I tell you what, Linda is a great A juvenile delinquent. I love it. <laughs> I know! <laughs> She's just doing what she got to do. She's doing what she got to do to survive um, in the mean so, streets of Boulder. So um, let's, uh, <laughs> let's recap real quick. You had yep. the the robot ran in the direction of the woods, right? Which yep. everybody refers to as Hemingway Park in that direction, right? Yeah. Uh, which is a good ways outside of the city. Uh, you have the boat. You have the the bunker. And you have uh, the cooling towers. The, those are four locations uh, that you have kind okay. of determined. Okay. So the the woods is just the direction of a robot. I don't think that's necessarily. Well, where we're we going to be go. going in that direction anyways if we're following on ninety three. Okay. That's true. Yeah. So we're gonna we're gonna probably pass by Hemingway one way or another. But what is it that we're looking to do? We're like track a robot? Like, what are we thinking here? Well Sorry. It's either that or we try to steal Dad's car, which will get us all probably grounded for the rest of our lives. We can't it's get just... grounded if we're the heroes of the FBI. Well that's it. You have to think long term, Freddie. You'll be able to get a scholarship to any college. I was going to do that anyways, but. Okay. Alright, whatever. Okay, Woods, go. Are we... Let's go. Shall we? Yeah. I mean, well, think about it this way. If we go to the woods, there'll probably be a park ranger there and we can get, like, flashlights and flares and stuff. We got flashlights. And flares. Flares. Why do. Okay. Yeah. They're they're much better at setting things on fire. Let's go. Okay. Let's okay. Go. Yeah. All right. We're I guess we're gonna take a quick pot, quick stop at the woods. Yeah. Or the park because it's on the way. Presumably we're just biking there, which is not impossibly long. But I don't know. I don't no, think we're gonna be able to get anywhere else today. It's an hour or so. Um, probably about probably about an hour on the bikes. Um, All right. And it's it's summer ish, like late late spring. So your days are still kind of long. Okay. Uh, we'll give you that. Um, school was over at like two thirty. This is probably taking about two hours. It's about four thirty now. Um, you have missed uh, practice, by the way. Crap! For this, so um, you get out to. The park. Uh, you did actually research the bus routes. Don't forget that. There was yeah, a bus we routes. did. We did. And you so could take wait, the bus. I guess we could just take the bus. We wouldn't have bikes, but we could take the bus. Yeah. You can put your bikes on the front of the bus. Or let's just do that then. Let's save us a bunch of time and go on the bus. This whole thing's easy. Yeah. There you go. Get on the bus and you go out to him and Way Park. Um, and that takes like way less than an hour. Yeah, it's like 20 minutes at most. And you're out there. Uh, you take the uh, the Loop Express. Uh, it, it stops there. It stops at um, the Foxtrot Gate. Um, lets people off there and 
also goes out to the marina. So, um, you get out in the woods, and there are lots of derelict things out here in the wood in Hemingway Park. It's kind of like the Loop's graveyard for forgotten, lost experiments. Oh. Um, most of the things have been deactivated, uh, shut down, worn out, dead batteries, whatever. Um, exact kind of place a crazy Pele would like to hide. If Pele is crazy, I think he's a person. Well. A good person. Well, clearly something's busted about him. And if I was um, gonna, if I was a robot and I wanted to hide somewhere where they where somebody couldn't send a giant robot after me, I'd hide exactly where they put all the other busted robots. I mean, either way we have to help him. I mean, because if he's broken and he needs help, we can maybe help him get fixed. Well, he yeah. didn't want to get fixed the last time somebody tried help. to help him. Well, we we have the remote here. And we're we're not adults. Adults don't understand. I hope you are we able to do anything that's like uh, like a tracking? I don't know. Is that something? Um, investigate would investigate? be the closest thing. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Can I can I roll for that? Just sure. See if we can Absolutely. Track? Okay. Run. One success. One success. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Amongst everything, you do find some footprints. Um, they look human sized. Your, about your size footprints, maybe a little smaller, um, and they're they're run, they're leading off to the northeast of the main park, out of the main park into the less um, or into the more dense forest area that's off the beaten path. I say we bite, and follow the trails. Yeah, yeah, let's, let's do, do it. it. All right, um, let's go. You hop on your bikes and you ride out uh, a little way, stopping every once in a while to follow the tracks and make sure you're still on the right path. Get a drink break every once in a while. Yeah, readjust yeah, your readjust seats. Readjust the, the iguana on my shoulder. No, oh, yeah, it's curled up around you. Um, We've officially collected <laughs> pets in the one shot. That's right. Um, <laughs> and you get to a, a, a point known as a Hinnomway Pass. It's a cliffside that goes down into a valley and, and there's a pass between these two cliffs and uh, Isabella especially you recognize because you spent more time in the room than anyone else did um, one of the drawings in fact the one that you uh, folded up and put in your pocket you pull it out because it this area looks really familiar to you and you hold it up and it matches the exact landscape like looking out, you can see the cooling towers far off in the distance. You can see the meadow that comes down. Um, and right in this area, too, the, the trail kind of goes cold. You lose, it, the ground turns more rocky and less dirt and mud. And uh, what do you all want to do? I think he was here. See, this is where he drew this picture. Well, if that's where he was. But where is he now? Well, and the the, the tracks end here. For the most part, yep. Okay. So that's where he made. He was here. He was here, but then he went back and put pictures up. So it's not that he w Well, he was here, but he goes here all the time. You could see. Well, I, think, I think he's here all the time. About just maybe a hundred yards past the the exit of the pass, there's the the chain link fence that surrounds the main complex of the of the loop where the cooling towers are. I think we should jump the fence. Yeah. Do you think Pele went into the loop facility? Well, if he did, there'll be a hole in the fence. That's if he did. Well, we should yeah. look. If if we can see a hole, then we know that he went through it, and then we go through it. If we have to cut a hole, then there was no hole. Then yeah, no one went through it. Could cut a hole in a fence. Let's just look for a hole. 
instead and investigate like, to look for a hole? Yes, you can investigate the fence. Okay. Should we all just do it? Yeah, you can all, you kind of fan out and start looking around the fence line. Um, I did I not find I rolled triple them. fives. This does oh, nothing. Wow. Oh, I did find. I got a six. One yeah. six. I got a success as well. Nice. All right. You all do find a, a hole big enough for a kid that has been cut in the fence. Um, Is there like robot oh. fluid on it or something? No, it's a clean cut and... Just as you find it, you hear the whistle sound that you hear every day at 6 p.m. Um, that comes from the cooling towers. Uh, and you've asked your parents what that sound is before, and they've told you that that is the whistle that uh, drains the service vaults so that they can be reset on the cooling towers. So every day at 6 p.m., the cooling towers are reset. So we... What does that mean? I'm thinking that means we can get through the service doohickey, service tunnel, or whatever. Oh, yes. Actually, inside, because that's probably what Bailey did to get in there. Okay, well, that's fit. Let's. let's Can a kid even fit in that? Yeah. Um, Hold on until we try. Yeah. Once are you guys gonna go through the hole? Yes. Go through the fence. So, all right. You go through the hole. Send the iguana first. Send the iguana first. Okay, George, go through like that a, hole. Like a canary, you know, like a canary in the mine. <laughs> if we hear screaming or the sound then of we rapidly mutated lizard. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> everything George, looks, get in there. Everything looks pretty pretty cool, uh, pretty smooth with the uh, iguana. Oh, excuse me, y'all. Oh, you started it, Linda. You started it. I, it's, it's three. It's three a.m. I know it's it's ten p.m. <laughs> I'm I'm impressed you're up for this this late. Uh, and, and I'm grateful. Um, as you get closer, you see the cooling towers, and you can see there's a ladder on the closest one to you. Um, really it leads up that. to a big square area at the bottom of the cooling tower. Um, you want to climb the ladder? Yeah. You climb up the ladder, and there's a door at the top of the ladder um, that's not closed all the way. Uh, it looks like it was forced open. This has got to be it. Did he only do that? Man, if he was really holding back in practice. They're going to make a film about this. They have to. Let's focus on not dying first. Who do you want to have play you in the movie? That's the one, the one that is Annie. You know. I opened the door. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, Sh- Shirley Temple. I was gonna say I wanted the little girl from ET to be me. Oh no, she's good. So I can't you think of any other eighties kids. Climb up the ladder, and there's a. Uh, Ten by four. 40 hallway that goes in and then a big square room you hear all kinds of like mechanical noises um when you get into the big the big room there are doors uh on both sides of the far end of the room and one that leads directly out um everybody roll I'm trying to find uh, what do I want you to roll here? Roll a comprehend. Ooh. That is a mind skill that I also don't have. Yep, a mind skill. I get it for this. Uh, I don't three. understand what's going on. Three successes? <laughs> no, I have one success. Oh, okay. I have, I, have, I have eight dice, zero success. Yeah, I had How five did I do success. This? I like so, it, uh, it's totally lost on me. I'm like, yeah, I don't know. Just, so yeah, I'm, I'm petting George. Fred, Fred the goes power in. of the jock is. I know, right? <laughs> Fred, you're the first one in, and you hear a voice. You hear just somebody just. It sounds like just random words they're saying. It's it, it's not even really comprehensible, other than it's a language, and. 
What do you want to do? LA? Is that you? And you've been... All right. LA? LA? Why don't you come out here. We're, All right. we're your friends. It's me, Fred. Here we go. This is what we call extended trouble. Ah! All right. Oh, so, boy. This is what we're going to do. Ten force. Ten force. <laughs> Uh, there are nice. <laughs> there are five steps to uh, the big boss fight, the extended trouble scene. Oh, right? it's a boss fight. I have so, to kill Pele with a hockey stick, don't I? And I'm, oh. I'm only gonna I'm only gonna play this out and and spell this out for y'all so that everybody knows this is how we do it, and then everybody can understand what needs to be done. So, yeah. the first step of extended trouble is to set the stakes. Uh, so the game master will declare what's at stake and what will happen if the kids fail. So what's at stake here is that you can either save your friend or push him over the brink. That's basically what's at stake, right? You so can me either... pummeling his head with a hockey stick is the failure condition. You don't want, yes. You don't want to do that. That's really bad because I don't have social skills. All right. So the th then the next is threat level. And I'll declare a total number of successes that you need to beat the trouble. The threat level is typically twice the number of kids. Is for a normal threat three times for a hard threat and four times for an impossible threat. Um, okay. So we'll say that this is a. Uh, we'll go with normal because he's supposed to be your friend and you're going to talk to your friend. So this should be a normal threat. It shouldn't be too, too hard, right? Um, Just saying, I'm only good for when things go really wrong. <laughs> Okay. All right. Uh, and I'm just making sure that I'm going by with the module, too. So uh, the next thing is you all will get to make a plan. You will get to decide what you want to do, how each one of you will use what skills and in what order. There's no initiative. There's no die roll to see who goes first. It's y'all come up with the plan and figure out who wants to go first when, et cetera, et cetera, right? Um, then you get to choose what skills to use, but I can disallow any clearly unreasonable skill use. So if you want to do some Matrix Ninja moves off the sidewall with your hockey stick, yeah, you know, that's not really I was well, thinking right? of pinning him against a wall, but that well, works too. You know, that's not unreasonable. Um, then we play the scenes out, and then we determine the outcome. Um, each kid, and when we play out the scenes, each kid gets a scene to act and roles for their chosen skill. Successes go towards reaching the threat level, but can also be used for bonus effects. If there's time, a kid may roll to, for lead to create a dice pool. And instead of adding it towards the threat, you add your successes to the dice pool. This had to be a hard thing, and I just do not have uh, For the outcome, uh, each kid rolls once, pushing rolls if they want to, and when the scenes are over, the total number of sixes compared to the threat level of extended trouble. Uh, the final sum of the sixes are less than, uh, and then that's, if it's less than the threat level, you have failed. If it's more or equal to half or more of the threat level, you can do an additional check conditions to get six uh, more sixes in order to reach a compromise. And then if you reach the threat level without checking extra conditions, the kids achieve your goal and overcome the trouble. All right? Yeah. Questions? Okay. So, so figure out a plan thing? here. Because I feel like this is... I, I'm trying to think of a way this doesn't just boil down to a million charm rolls. Well... I mean, Pele would probably be very happy to see George. And maybe if I can take George to him, he'll let me get close enough, and then maybe I could use my programming skill to see if I could help calm him down. He is well, a robot. You would have to... Is, is he a robot? Pretty sure he's he a robot. I think he is a robot. Okay. I mean, that was a charging station in his room. Oh yeah. yeah. Look, you you don't need to hook up to a Commodore sixty four to sleep. Maybe he had a robot pet. No, I mean that charging station was pretty Pele sized. Uh, we're I'm assuming we're looking at this 
this guy, Pele, he's like there, right? Um, no, you hear oh, him. We just hear him. You okay, hear him cool. down the hall. Okay. Oh, crap. Okay. I just so. want to point out, I have all ten of my force on standby if he does decide to charge us. No. I'm not going to charge him. I'm just saying. It's fine. It's he's fine. clearly off his... He's clearly nuts. You can soak up damage, but you don't cause I never damage. said I was going to attack him. I'm saying if he attacks us. Yeah, then maybe you, you can defend. That yeah. was the plan. Okay. Wow. Just making sure. That's my backup plan. If if all this goes... Well... If he gets too close, you should pin him. Yeah, I think... You I th- that's, the, that's the plan. Okay, so... Is there a way I can use my contact to, like, try and bridge a gap with him? Somewhere between my contact and my relationship, try to maybe bring up somebody he knows, or maybe try to bring up being like, I, I know you like some, like, I know you were close with somebody, you're close with us, or something like that. Mm-hmm. His Aunt Greta. I don't know if his Aunt Greta is particularly close with him. Well, there was a picture. He had Wasn't Aunt Greta off in the distance or something? And two, Fred didn't see, the two, Fred didn't really pay attention to that. Yeah, no, I'm telling, telling him right now. Yeah, no, the, his Aunt Greta. She was in a picture that he drew of the whole family in his room. Is there a way I could use my contacts to try and, like, build a rapport with this guy? Um... You could probably use... Let's see. Well, you've already got a rapport, right? You're... You're You're a teammate. You're in some... I use Tar to try and, like, bolster the number of, like... Try to remind him, like, you know, he is part of the team. He is part of a... He has friend. He's part of book club. He's part of the hockey team. We, we've got friends. Um, yeah, you could use charm for that, and then if you wanted to reinforce that later, you could probably use contact to bring up names and, you know, I think that's what you're trying to get at, right? Is can that, you... That's kind of where I'm going for it. But yeah, are, are y'all good at charm? Because I don't have points in that. Mm. I mean, I've been pretty good at rolling three dice all night, but. I've got I've got four in charm, but are we sure that he is? I don't know. It sounds like we think he's suicidal or something. Or like, well, I'm, I'm being a little bit it's, meta here, but clearly, in character, the plan is to talk to him and get him to come back with us. Out of game, we know for a fact that if we fuck this up, he's just gonna go nuts and probably kill himself or something. So, um. I think, I think somebody needs to open up and charm him and try to establish that connection. I could maybe bolster it with contact. I mean, if we can get could... him in close, and then depending on how he acts, I can either use force to pin him to a wall, or wait, I'm. Can I leverage our our relationship on the hockey team to like do a lead with a bonus or something? Yeah, absolutely. That that might be better. Um, I think I guess the plan is this. The plan is that we're trying to sweet talk him. Hey, you're all of our friends. You got this. We're all here oh, for wow, you, he man. And so, then and right. then from there if if he's aggressive, then we deal with it through. If he's aggressive, then I give him Mister Mister yeah, yeah, Hockey yeah. Stick. But yeah, you can maybe then you hold him down and maybe hold I hold him like program. Hold him down and then yeah. do monkey with his head, assuming his brain yeah. doesn't explode. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, and we have the we have the remote too. If if we have. Oh yeah, oh. keep that on standby. The so the way the, um the way that leading that. works is if you if you succeed at lead, you create a dice pool. If you have one success, that adds two dice to the dice pool. Two successes is four dice, and three successes is six dice to the dice pool that then anyone can pull from. Oh, so I'm definitely doing that. But if you fail, you have to check a condition and ask the other kids how the relationship has been hurt. I'm okay with this plan. I've got one luck point in my pride left. Okay. Do it. Yeah. All never, right. Never sell your one. pride. Yolo. <laughs> Leroy Jenkins. <laughs> 
<laughs> How are it's we getting Frederick to Frederick Johnson. <laughs> so, Good. what I'm thinking, I don't know if you two have lead. No. But I'm thinking I can leverage my position as no. team hotshot guy, try to build the rapport, try to lead Pele to come back with us. Y'all could charm, y'all could do some charm work on him, and then maybe I could come in and bolster with the contact later. If need be. If you. need be, if or need if be. that doesn't, or if things go terribly wrong, I just bash his robot skull in. I mean, Frederick's going to hate doing it, but Ben can't never roll dice and hit stuff. No. No. We'll stop you. We'll stop you. I'll set I, the I said on Frederick on. would hate doing it, but if it has to be done, it has to be done. All right, about that time, the door on the far end of the chamber squeaks open. All right. And you see a blonde, 12-year-old boy, a little small for his age. Of course he looks like a sweet. Sweet face, sticks his head out. He says, are you here to take me? No. Just here to help you, Pele. We're worried. Hey, you missed the book club. You want to hurt us. And practice. No, we don't want to hurt you. We won't let you. We have George. Haley, we're on the same team here. We've always been on the same team. What are you talking about? Who's us? Is this the point where I start rolling dice? Yep, go ahead and roll your lead. Um, Do I get a bonus for exploiting my relationship? Uh, you have your hockey stick with you? I do. And your face mask, you probably even have your jersey on. Probably, yes. So I I will give you a bonus for for your stick and one more for your team wear because you're trying to lead him as a member of the team. So that'll be a plus two for your stick and a plus one for your jersey. All right, so six dice. Here we go. Let's go. Here we go. This is probably going to be the main. If this fucks up, we have problems. Oh, okay. That one ran out of the thing. Two successes. Yeah, yeah four dice. Yeah, of four dice in the with. dice pool. All right. I'm tempted to burn my last luck to actually try to go for six, but he uh, he stops Sorry, for a folks. minute and all right. Step he just one. stares at you. We have four dice and I can do nothing with them. So huh? And then he. Uh, you hear noises down the hallway from him, uh, electrical buzzings, clanking, banging. Um, you see some lights start flashing in the hallway, um, and he looks. He goes, "Fred, Freddy." Yeah, it's, it's me. It's Freddy. You missed practice, Bailey. We were wondering what happened to you. And then just like that, it switches back, and he says, no, no, you're not going to take us. You can't. You can't take us. Okay, we, somebody else do something, because that was my big thing. Yep, so now you have four dice in your dice pool to, to add to any yep. of your other rolls that you need to roll. Am I, would I be able to use comprehend? in some way to try and understand what's, well, I mean, I kind of understand what's going on myself, but can I get any extra insight on this? Basically, he seems to be glitching out into his real self, going back into Robo Pele, um, or some sort of, I don't know, I don't know if he's a robot, but you know what I mean. Does that make any difference, or should we just go straight into the, the charm persuasion style? Um. Basically, I'm asking if there's any way of doing an insight check or yeah that's what i'm trying to see if there's yeah. anything more that you can learn about his condition um just through sight and observation yeah and i could also use calculate if that would help <laughs> yeah that's true you could get the robot version i could get the human version did my i did my thing i got two I don't think those actually counted towards the extended trouble. Or did they? I don't know. Um, It's part, it is part of it. Um, All right, so we're two in. Let's see. And I have the four extra dice that y'all can do because I can't touch them. Oh, so we just take your dice? Uh, There's a a dice pool of four 
that I cannot that I created as the leader, but I can't actually use it. Oh, okay. Like other people have to use it. I can't do cool, it. Cool, cool. Yeah, if yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll let you roll a comprehend. Um, a comprehend, okay. Yeah, and I'll I'll give you something on it if you succeed. Just one thing. Burn all, all burn the entire dice pool. Roll twelve. <laughs> Wait, did you actually do it? No, no, no. I rolled just my usual, and I got two successes. Two successes. All right, with two successes. Um, you read his lips. He is speaking in mathematical equations when he is not talking directly to you. No uh, wonder I didn't understand. You it. can see his eyes moving, like he's trying to solve some kind of visual puzzle that you can't see. Uh, his hands, his fingers are moving very rapidly. Uh, they're almost make the light blur around them as they move. He is working on something in his mind, or multiple somethings. Uh, in his mind and he can't stop that moment where where there was a connection all that stopped and it was really Pele who, who was there and then just as quickly it was gone and he was back to working this problem this guy has some killer math homework mm. Am I, am I able to do anything else? Or is that my... No, what, my what else I'm would you sure. like to do? Well, I, I really want to throw water on him, but... Um, that I seems won't. like a great way to piss him off. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. Um, I'll, I want to... I want to speak to him um, and try and... Just try and get through to, to Pele, the real Pele. Um... <sighs> Or do I want to just do the remote control? I'll not do the remote control. Um, I don't think the remote control's for him. Who's the remote control for? The giant robot. Isn't he? I don't. Pele, Pele, are you, are you in trouble, Pele? We, I know we know you're a robot now, and we still love you. Um, if you don't want to be a robot anymore, um, just say so, and I've got a. I've got a remote control and we can help you. But you need to come back to school. Soon. Because you missed the book club. Alright, what are you gonna... Are you gonna charm heart? What are you gonna... I guess it's... Uh, or... Well, either way, it's the same... It's the same rules. It's a kind of empathy thing, yeah? Just... Yeah, it empathy. sounds it sounds more like an empathy thing. Like you're saying, hey, we know you you're yeah in trouble here, and do you want help? Yeah, let's do that. I didn't even see that, but I have a point in it. Okay, can I use some of your your little four dices? I, I made it to be used. Yeah, they're for everybody. So yeah. Can, do, do I roll and then can I choose to roll the other ones? Uh, it doesn't say. Well, if you spend, when they roll to overcome trouble. GM's right? choice. You may, in the upcoming scenes, distribute. But you cannot give these dice to yourself. Oh, I guess I do. I, I guess I do get to say who takes the dice. You do. Yeah, it looks like you get to say oh, who takes the dice. Oh, I am in charge of giving the dice. Okay. Um, so you can tell them. Yeah, here I'll give you two dice or one die extra. I have this power, and I have to give them to people who aren't me. Um. So. I thought they were just up for grabs. So I did too until I read that second paragraph. <laughs> yeah, I was double checking it. Um, I, I guess take two. Okay. Have two dice. I'm saving the other Let's two. Let's go. For Lindsay. Okay. That is two successes. All two right. successes with an empathize. All right. Um, things here. So that's we got that's, this. We got this. Boom boom. I still um, have half a dice pool left to give to people. Nice. That's so that's two, three. Okay. We are halfway there, right? We're cooking. We're I'm cooking. Count, I'm literally counting six successes throughout, unless we're not supposed to count six successes. Um, are we supposed to count, like, successful rolls or, like, the, actual successes? Um, yeah, successes in what you're doing to... Ex uh, I think the only thing that doesn't count okay. is the lead. Okay, so we're at four, then. Is it four? Okay, I had three. Because she got... Cause she got two on That's the right. two, and two, two on the just this, so yep. that we're at four. Yeah. So you're at four. Nice. Good. Nice. Um, Easy. Nice powers. Nice power. 
Isabella, what are you going to do? Um, the first thing I'd like to do is, given what I'm hearing him say, is there any way... I'd like to try to use my calculate skill to figure out if there's any way I can figure out what it is, what problem it is that he's trying to work out. Sure. All right, so that is... Want more dice? Eight. Or do you want to save those for something um, later? Well, let's see here, because I would roll eight. Well, we could finish it nine. For my, for my, ooh, two for my pocket calculator, so I get to roll ten die. I mean, but then, if you get the other two, we could finish it and win. right here, right now, right? Yeah. Yeah, there's so one more roll you have to make after there. that. Well, well there's, there's one more roll we have to yeah, make. Oh, okay. okay, never mind. You get six successes, like... and then there's one completion. Two okay. Two successes. So there's yeah, your I... six. Um, nice. There, you're not All familiar right, with two. the equation, but it is a very high level math equation. Um, you you assume it's probably something like calculus or physics that he is. You've never had to work with that, but you know of it, um, and you can just see almost a reflection in his eye of the formulas just scrolling through Ooh. his mind now. Matrix. What do you want to say to him or, or anything? Less than hey, half. Hey, I have, I have George here. Um, and we know that you've got a math equation you need help with. I think, I think I might know somebody who can help you figure this out. He blinks for a moment and he, he starts to say I speak for all of us when I say and then he blinks again he says Isabella Pele Isabella is that you yes okay so go ahead and roll your last roll that you were what was, you were gonna Oh, you're taking my two extra dice for this whether you want them or not <laughs> okay because I can't um, do it I mean the end of the jigs up i got two dice left i need to hand them to somebody all right so i'm guessing then i'm gonna use my uh programming skill to try to i don't know do you want to program or are you gonna we can maybe just talk him down right he's he's himself right now down. yeah you could program or yeah. use heart or uh program speak the machine language Program's probably the best, think, your best shot at okay. it, though. Yeah. Plus two right. from me. I did one useful thing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and if you so want you to did, enter... You've done many useful things. I've done... Uh, yeah, no, I should not... If you right, want to put good. a secret message in your pocket calculator and show it to him, you know, like yeah. boobies. upside down Let's letters... Do that. That you... Boobies! <laughs> <laughs> We're going to say with boobies. <laughs> That is very it is. That is very it is. Yeah. Uh, All right. So yeah. I'll even give you a plus two for your pocket calculator if you use it. And right. I will. I'll use my pocket. Case. And my. I'm leadership. a nice game the, master. The two, okay, so, so that actually gives me twelve die. Oh wow. Yeah. You just about okay, can't. You, you almost right. can't fail so here. So that's. Don't say that. Successes and three successes. Three successes. Ooh. Yep. Um. He I runs to you and just so right. oh, embraces mind, you. <gasps> and he, he gives Isabella a giant hug and says, oh. you know the answer. Yeah. Is that nerd speak for we're good? I think we're, we're good. Okay. Slowly lowers the hockey stick. I think. Yeah. And... Like they're hugging. They're hugging and... Camera fades to black. The next day, you wake up and go to school, and Pele is there, and everything oh. is right in the world. Pele, and we all like like him more, and we invite him to lunch, and we invite him to the to the treehouse. He becomes a member oh, of the he's, treehouse. He's club. our he's our friend now. And I'm gonna ask until him the government takes him away. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm gonna ask him if he wants to be my boyfriend. Oh, that's cute. But he's a robot. I don't so, care. 
she, she's nice. ten. She doesn't care. That's nice. That's nice. And of course, he says yes because you saved him. Um, oh, we saved him from a he, terrible he, amount of math. You basically you you basically <laughs> convinced him um, that you could help the the help him find the answer if he would just trust you and take you and go with you. And he um, he did. Uh, he trusts little the robot souls. That's I scary. One thing. <laughs> I'm slightly disappointed I did not get to ex- use more violence, but I'm just, it makes sense for the game. I'm just like, <laughs> come on. <laughs> I only to roll 10 dice once. Oh, no. no. Would you good. all play this game again? No, never. Never? It okay. Awful. It was horrible, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, um, we'll hang out for a few minutes after the game, but um, I, I do want to. Uh, wrap it up and uh and sign off on the stream i hope that everyone who watched uh that being diamond and uh zach out there um uh enjoyed the game as much as we did i had a blast absolutely managing the game i love that thank you so much for introducing me to this it's arm so yourself fun. with the iguana all the time um, i'm saying yeah, absolutely. <laughs> arm, arm yourself with the iguana. Um, if you all have socials you want to drop in the Twitch chat so people can find you, um, feel free to do that. I didn't I have time to set those up. Before we sign off, uh, I'll let you do that. Remember, you can find us every Saturday playing Dungeons & Dragons 5th Edition. We have two campaigns currently going on. One is uh, Welcome Home, a homebrew 5th Edition campaign. Uh, that's every two weeks this past Saturday we played, so it'll be two weeks from this past Saturday. This coming Saturday at noon, we'll be playing Horde of the Dragon Queen, uh, which is also a 5th edition module. It was the first module written for Dungeons & Dragons 5th edition that was publicly released. So we'll be playing that at noon right here on the United Adventure Company. All times Eastern Standard. Tuesday night, next Tuesday night, we're back to playing Weird. That's right. Our, uh, Our Game Master for Weird, the host, will be back at his console and be able to run the game for us we're so happy to be getting that back underway um and so much more to come Uh, we have some new game master people that are getting up the nerve to start running some games behind the scenes and hopefully they'll get on stream eventually um and, and run their games but uh this was a ton of fun really really highly recommend this game after playing it it. um I really want to play it. I don't even want to. I mean, I want to run it because it's fun to run, but I want to play it now. It's. it's it, I think it's better to play it. I think it's better to play it. There's a there's a lovely trolling element that you can really enjoy as a player. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I felt very trolly. It was. It was, seemed to be part of it. I enjoyed. Yeah, trying to you all really animation. got into your characters too, and like, <laughs> you you did. You channeled your inner child and really played it and. And yeah, I, really I was a, such a, a dick kid. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm learning. I was such a, a rude, annoying child. Um, but yeah, no, thank you. Uh, yeah, love that. Yeah, yeah. love that. Even at 3 30 a.m., I love that. <laughs> well, we're glad you stayed up. Thank you so much for staying Absolutely. up to play with us. Um, Absolutely. And make sure you go find everyone on the social medias. Follow us, give us the hearts and the loves. We love you all so very, oh, very much. All to that. All, How cute. All the hearts. Um, we love you so much. Thanks for the follows. Thanks for the subs tonight. We really appreciate it. But until next time, folks, we are the United Adventure Company, and this has been Tales from the Loop. So until next time, stay out of our cooling towers. Good night, everybody. <laughs> Bye, y'all. <laughs> all right.